Stretching on the floor while the sun gets low. I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core needs to breathe to flow. We push it right on through. I know you need it too. Because we have been working hard right from the very start. Mm, and we get this far. But now it's time for us to stay out until it's late. We've come a long, long way, so we deserve it. Mate. Call it a day and celebrate. Stay out until it's late. We've come a long, long way. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sid Squad. Hello. <laughs> Hopefully you're all doing well. You're hanging out with Kurt. It is Friday night, the 15th of March. We are live here down under Sydney Airport, Australia. Lovely to have your company. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to the uh, live show tonight. Hopefully you're all doing well. How is everybody? Hey, you know, interestingly at the moment they've got um, they've got zero seven ops going on. So uh, how about it? A little bit different for for us and not ideal for us in in terms of arrivals. I'm suspecting that the heavy arrivals will still come in one sixes, and uh, perhaps a lot of the domestic movements will go. 07. Uh, not too sure how long that's going to take place, but uh, we'll see. We've got China Southern that's inbound at, uh, from the north at the moment, so we'll keep an eye on uh, where that one goes. He's currently at 7,000 feet, so he's got a bit of descending to do if he's going to make it for runway 16 right. So oh, you never know. I think they, well, as long as they're running 07 ops, they might be keeping them all on the east west runway. So we've got to keep an eye out. That wind is is quite strong. Um, there you can see it's coming in 139 degrees, 17 knots, top of screen at the moment. So you get a feel that that's um, quite a um, quite a heavy uh, a crosswinds. And, and now with the um, now with the east-west runway in full effect, the um, the air traffic control tower. Wow, look at that. See yeah, all the dust that it's ripping up. It's talking to departures about something, won't be long. Actually, it's really interesting because um, the runway hasn't been used for so long that, um, I mean, it has been used. We have, have, we have had 07 operations sort of in the last couple of weeks, but... Um, yeah, maybe that's what that dust kick up is because there's still a fair bit of um, soot and, you know, there's a lot of works going on in that area over there um, from uh, the uh, the extension of Taxiway Juliet with the uh, the southeast sector going full steam ahead with uh, the additional uh, uh, aprons at the, the standoff bays, the, um, the satellite aprons that they're uh, building. And that construction is, it's, well, yeah, it's, it's, visible just in there so all it's obviously it's it's dark you, i don't know you probably can't see too much on the show um but all that is probably putting a lot of dust on the runway throughout the day here we go jet star at least departures are currently all one sixes at the moment which is good news for us uh and uh hey there's uh, two and a half hours left to go on tonight's show as you can tell because uh, that's when curfew kicks in and uh, that's when we pretty much wrap up the show it is a, the Friday night show here, and um, there's no local freight movements after uh, 11 p.m. tonight. All of the uh, the freight movements are Monday to Thursday, so just on your weekdays. And uh, so today is Friday, so just RPT services up until 11 p.m. and then we uh, and then we wrap the show. And uh, departure got an A330, Qantas uh, 332 uh, up here at uh, Bravo 2, ready to Bravo. depart. And China Southern, well, unless he gets that right-hand turn, hopefully he comes straight down. But I think he's he might also go for a, uh, a landing there on 07, which would be interesting to see. But um, we'll only see the rollout, unfortunately. Um, but hey, hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody is doing well this evening. 
and uh, you're all ready to hang out with Kurt on the uh, on the live show. And uh, you know, here I am. So thank you for being here, and uh, it's lovely to have your company again. Uh, a big shout out to uh, obviously uh, all of our members and uh, returning viewers, of course. It's so lovely to uh, to be out here again for a couple of, only a couple of hours, two hours and thirty minutes of power. And uh, yeah, it should be should be pretty exciting. So um, stand by for uh, a lot of movement and uh, hopefully a lot more movement up here on the northern apron as the night goes on as we see all of our heavy movements uh, depart up here from runway 16 right so that'll be uh, exciting to see i'm going to keep my eye on china southern and see if he makes that right turn so if he does that make that right turn, if you're playing at home on flight radar then he's uh, going runway 07 and we'll see we'll just see the roll through which is which would be a bit of a shame so but at 17 knots it's strong enough that they can uh, utilize 07 ops so it really does make sense with those winds coming in at 140. Um, so a little bit of a, a crosswind. Uh, the wind's coming in from the southwest actually at the moment. So yeah, but yeah, hopefully they swing them back to all one sixes again. But see, there's not enough demand at this time on the Friday night. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we see China Southern come in here at the front. But anyway, hey, just wanted to say um, a big shout out to uh, Big Jet TV, all, all, all of the viewers that are here from Big Jet TV, and um, obviously to Jerry and Jilly who are down under here at the moment. Uh, there's a little bit of hype around the town for uh, for those guys being in here, and it's pretty exciting. And um, I know that there's uh, many many of you who are fans of uh, the Big Jet TV uh, hanging out here. So you know, welcome one and all, and uh, a big shout out to you and Jerry and Jilly if you are watching the show, hanging out there in the hotel. They had a day off today and um, they're out on the harbour. How about it? Makes me a bit jealous, to be honest. <laughs> All right, here we go. A330 departing now. Let's, uh, let's get in. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we wanted to hear. China Southern coming in, runway 16 right. How about it? Good on you, Fluky. Thank you, mate. A lovely little exchange there with our uh, air traffic controllers. Big shout out to Air Services Australia this evening. And uh, always lovely to hear their dulcet tones on the Sid Squad show. China Southern 301 next to land here, runway 16 right. It's a 7879 coming in from Guangzhou. Currently been flying for about nine hours. And uh, he's ready to um, hit the tarmac with the rubbers. And uh, we'll see him depart a little bit later on tonight as well. Nice uh, China Southern livery coming in tonight. So nice um, wide views here over the apron, an A330 on Bay 8, nothing doing Bay 9, uh, the big Super Q on uh, Bay 10 if we just uh, swing it round a little bit. And the... Uh, 301 after landing, no delay vacating at rapid exit Alpha 4, wind 140 degrees, 15 knots, runway 16 right, cleared to land. All right, winds have uh, sort of uh, eased off a, a tad down to one five knots now, which is nice. I think that'll fluctuate throughout the night. Uh, as we can see, we've got China Airlines over the back there, Bay 24. Uh, that's our dynasty friends and another Qantas A330, I uh, believe, one to Honolulu. So we'll see uh, which one, whether we're going to get a departure here from Bay 8. There's a little bit of action. Aero bridges are on at the moment as we speak. And uh, over the back on our uh, on our freight aprons there on the uh, the northeast sector, you can see that we've got uh, a uh, a Seoul DHL Singapore Airlines tripler, and um, so that uh, looks like it's getting a fair bit of work done as we speak, and uh, that should be um, departing a little bit later on tonight as well. Fingers crossed there. How is everybody this evening? I'll get my head down there in the chat in just a moment. I know that there's uh, plenty of you uh, in there all saying hello and uh, appreciate your company. And uh, thank you so much for being here.
Yeah, China Southern did get down to uh, 3,000 feet pretty quick, didn't it? Fluky. I was, I was looking at that and I was sort of like, whoa, 7,000 feet, does that mean we're not going to see it come in? But um, thankfully, thankfully, uh, yeah, here it is now on finals, runway 1-6 right. Do we still have any stacking up for uh, arrivals on 07, though, at this stage? What's that uh, Q-Link 183 doing, Fluke? You've got to let me know, mate. <laughs> you can be my source of intel tonight, seeing as you're not standing with me in the person. And a uh, big shout-out to the back, uh, the backstage crew there, Craig, Jordan, uh, Stocko and Jack and Kenny. How are you, lads? I know you can't be here tonight, but that's A-OK. -okay. Wow, what a view this is through the city. Look at that. Wow. Star 672, you'll be number two to depart to Virgin. Further down the runway, there's also an arrival on zero between you two. So line up one six right and wait. Line up All right, well, there's right my question answered. Zero 07 still in use. Line up one six right. Line up one six right, I think... Unless he was referring to a different departure off runway 16 right, which will go in in front. Okay, velocity intersection departure there at uh, Bravo 4, I believe. Or is he one down at uh, Bravo 2? Let's have a look. Uh, to Jetstar. Uh, G'day, traffic 73 will depart off 16 right. And it's set a light at the full length 16 right, lining up to wait for you. Continue approach. You are number 107. Continue approach. So the jet start coming out and uh, the uh, velocity aircraft also going out. Uh, that one, I believe, cleared for takeoff. First up, first up, velocity 890 there, Sydney to Melbourne on the milk run, the 737-800. Lovely to see. And then uh, the jet start 672 behind him at Bravo 2. He's departing to Darwin tonight. Velocity 916 right, cleared for takeoff. Velocity right, left takeoff, velocity 890. Yeah, on his 490, uh, continue approach. China Southern 301, contact ground 12685. We go China Southern now on ground. It'll taxi to uh, an appropriate stand. We'll catch, we'll catch it up again later. It's a beautiful every the, uh, the blue on the China Southern, especially more so on the, uh, the 787. It's real specky. So, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you asking, yes, this is a curfew live stream tonight. If you have a look at the top uh, top of your screen in the middle, there we've got a we've got we've got a data tag which uh, gives you an, an indication of uh, how long it is actually until curfew is in play. Um, so that actually gives you an idea about how long we'll actually be live streaming for tonight. So, um, you know, if you want, I, I suggest you uh, get your pizza orders in, go and get your popcorn, sit back, relax, go to the fridge and pick up your flavoured beverage, grab the family, bring them all around the big screen in the lounge room and, uh, you know, call out Sid Squad and uh, let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get everyone watching the show tonight. <laughs> Katana Combat is here. Another curfew. Thank you, Curtin Sid Squad team. Much love and appreciation for you. Dropping in a big one zero. Oh, well done, Katana. Thank you, mate, for kicking the proceedings off tonight. It's very kind of you. Lovely donation to the stream tonight. Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back. Welcome back. Andy Egan is here. G'day, Kurt. How are you feeling? Uh, no better medicine than a curfew stream. Oh, indeed. No better medicine, indeed. And uh, I am actually feeling really, really good. I'm actually feeling better now that I've got uh, the All Blacks A320 on screen, the 3, um, 321neo, which is departing to Auckland. So uh, we've just heard Jetstar get its airways clearance for takeoff, and um, now a nice little, uh, nice little cheeky showing here of the uh, All Blacks, and it is—it's quite dark there. Hey, welcome back, Andy, and uh, thanks for the five months in the lodge, mate. You legend. Hopefully, you're doing well tonight. All right, where are we here with our jet star ripping, ripping off the runway? I can hear it. She's loud. As we mentioned, 15 knots. She's quite blowy here tonight. We're going to get gusts on the microphone. So for those of you playing at home with headphones on, just uh, be aware that those bassy sounds is the wind. And uh, ain't no windsock uh, going to save you, unfortunately. <laughs> Landing on runway 07, you're assigned headings right 210, line up and wait. Okay, so we, we've got traffic landing 07, yeah, roger that. Yeah, copy that. Copy. 
Yeah, right. I'm just going to zoom out now and have a look. Oh, Qantas 490. Okay, so 737 coming out uh, now for uh, runway uh, 07 for a landing. That's yeah, going to be well, exciting. Yeah, not so much. Yeah, <laughs> only because, only because we're not going to see the touchdown, right? So, uh, and... Uh, 490 is the wind is zero, zero degrees, one, two knots, one... But how about that, man? All Blacks, man. All Blacks. Look at this. 321 going to Auckland. They've come out. They're not going to runway left. There's plenty of... Uh... Oh, look at the engine glow. Look at the engine glow there. Right there. How good is that? <laughs> First one off the cab tonight. There we go. Man, she's hot in there. You wouldn't want to put your hand there. I tell you. Far out. Get those emojis there in the chat going. I want to see some uh, red, little engine glow, uh, red little engine glow emojis. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, well done. So we've had our we've had our Qantas 49. It's, it, it has rolled through, but she's miles Harrison's away over there. She'll vacate the runway, and then it's likely we'll get a, uh, a departure here. Looks like the um, the Air New Zealand uh, 321 now is uh, lining up runway 16 right. Look at that engine glow emoji has gone bananas. You guys are taking over the chat like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Look out. Well, I can tell you there is a tomorrow. Big Jet TV is coming to you live from Mars tomorrow. Freeview 11 a.m. is what I've been told. So there you go. Go and check that out. Alrighty, time for our uh, our Kiwi friends heading on back home to Auckland. Look out. 87, traffic's lined up at full length once to try and we'll wait. Wind is 0, 80 degrees, 1, 1 knots. Runway 0, clear to land. All right, zero 07 clear to land. So we're going to hold on that traffic and then just uh, rip snort through a couple of uh, member shout outs while we're here. And uh, we've got Alpha Hotel there uh, message coming in. Finally, a proper plane spotting stream. Don't care what anyone else says and no disrespect to the others, but no one does it as good as Sid Squad. Alpha Hotel, you cheeky devil. <laughs> 13 months up there in the lodge. I will say that, look, it, we're, that is very kind, mate. I do appreciate that. And um, thank you, thank you for being here again and, and coming back to enjoy the show. Well done, mate. Membership anniversary there from Gareth Roo, celebrating 21 months in the cabana. Good on you, Gareth. And fly like a girl, fearless and fabulous, which I absolutely love that name. Thanks for the stream. I'm viewing from my hospital bed in Kimberley. Wow, what's going on up there? Fearless and fabulous. We need to get some fearless and fabulous India so you can get out of that hospital bed. I hope things are okay. That kind of always worries me a little bit, but um, I, I hope I hope you're okay. Sending our best regards to you. Um, a little bit of sit squad love uh, can never hurt. It can never hurt. Good on you, fearless and fabulous. Thanks for being here again, and thanks for the generous donation to the show tonight. Appreciate that. Pete it's Jones up there in uh, Brizzy's here. Like Evening, uh, Kurt, you know, Mont, and everyone. Two, what a great way to end the day. Spent the day Brizzy right. with Matt and James. Ah, yes, up there on our Only Planes Network. Yes, shout out to those guys. Wore my Sit Squad Little Wings T-shirt to get the word out on my way home on public transport. Well, Attaboy. Well, ah, as as oh, well done, Pete. Let's have a listen here. All right, New Zealand 112 is ready to park. Good on you, Peter. I love you, mate. Thank you so much for uh, sending out the good vibes with the uh, with the T-shirt. That's that's just brilliant, mate. FedEx here now pushing back. We're going to see a heavy depart. 6013 pushing back now. Oh, this is magic. Now the show's starting to uh, uh, yeah. Now the show's starting to uh, pick up, which is fantastic. New Zealand 112 runway 16 right. Clear to take off. Let's take off 16 right, Alrighty, guys, you heard it there. He's now cleared for takeoff, so uh, let's get going with the A321 home to Auckland. Let's enjoy this one together. Got a bit of a flash in front of me. I'm trying to work out what that is. Traffic lining up one six right to wait. 
I wonder if we'll see the engine glow from this perspective. We've got to do a uh, Craig Murray grain train. Uh, uh, no, I don't think we're going to see I can't see it from here. No, she's uh, got nothing. But how about that turn, though? How about that turn? That was that was pretty specky. And uh, now just here in front of us, it is the A330 pushing back. And um, this service is going to Hawaii. So, uh, wow, this is the, uh, the one that we're after. Listen to this startup. Here's Kurt getting all confused with his uh, with his engine starts, and I'm like, "Hang on, that's that's no A330." That's the, uh, that's the G90s there of the, uh, of the tripler. The well, 892 16 right, clear takeoff. It's an interesting little uh, combination going on there with, uh, with FedEx. They're the boys. It's like he's carrying a couple flares back uh, from uh, from uh, dispatching that aircraft. Uh, wave them, lads! Wave them, lads! Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> well, we did, we did actually see the triplers start to push back. So uh, how good's that? This is coming in from Josh Amos. Uh, G'day, Josh. Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you, and uh, welcome to the live show tonight. Good evening, Kurt. What a great way to end the week. Love the streams. I'll get on you, Josh. And uh, thank you there. I appreciate that. Uh, Ali's dropped five gifted. Good on you, Ali. Thank you for that kind gesture, and congrats to the uh, five newest members here on the, uh, the Sid Squad show. Appreciate you uh, all being here. Thank you so much. Christopher Alexopoulos is here. Currently in Bangkok doing an A320 type rating. Loving it, but uh, not loving the heat. Love the string, Kurt. Makes the uh, the study bearable. <laughs> Good on you, Chris. Well, mate. Good luck with uh, all the study. And uh, Bangkok is a uh, a beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, I, I I love it there, mate. So bear with me for a second. Just uh, setting up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Jenny Miles coming in. G'day, Jenny. Hey, Kurt. Uh, so great to see you stream tonight. Sit Squad is exactly what I needed tonight, so thank you. Oh, good on you, Jenny. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, thanks for your wonderful support on the uh, the show, as always. Appreciate you being here. Oh, mate, well, it's going to be a good one. Should be a, should be a pearler of a show tonight. Hey, Chris Shaw's here. Starship last night, now the legend Kurt. Oh, yeah, how about it? But the thing is, that, that, it just kept getting getting delayed, didn't it? I was up, it was like, I think it was about 11, or no, it was after midnight, wasn't it? By the time it, by the time it got up. Chris, what a display. Yeah, some calling it a success and uh, others not so much. <laughs> oh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Uh, thanks, mate. The eight months in the penthouse, mate. You're a legend. Thanks for continuing to support the, uh, the Seed Squad family. Uh, Tim's here, 83. Avalon freight action this week for the F1s. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. If we're talking about the other uh, the Fox. No delay, the West is one. 
So all, all you're hearing there in the background is a lot of our domestic services just rolling through uh, for landings on 07. So uh, not terribly excited about those movements at the moment, especially while we've got the tripler and the uh, the 333 in front of us uh, off to Honolulu. So we'll uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled there and uh, get through some more of your chats there. Uh, Parabellum collectibles here. Williamtown coverage while ops are ongoing. F35s. Um, Williamtown coverage while ops are ongoing. Yeah, so they've got the Millex up there at the moment. And um, if you're if you're playing at home, go on the Facebook and go and check out. Uh, what, what, I can't remember what it's got. Australian Australian uh, uh, plane spotters or Australian aviation photographers Facebook page. And um, my my good mate Stephen Brown has put up a an absolute pearl of a video of all the F-35s departing uh, Newcastle earlier this week. Stellar stellar uh, video. Go and check it out. Love it. Message coming in from Aidan Campbell. Put himself up there in the Bondi Beach Cabana. Well done, Aidan. Welcome. Oh, Addison. Hello, mate. Long time. Hi, I've got my dad on flight velocity 562 landing in two hours. Well, Addison, give us a holler in two hours because you know me and my memory. I'll forget by then. But uh, good shout out, Addison. And uh, thanks for the two. Appreciate it. Hey, my good mate Pete from Radelaide here. What's curfew? All I know is curfew. <laughs> Oh yeah, cheeky devil. Good on you, Pete. Uh, hey, have you guys, you guys got any live shows coming up in Adelaide this weekend? Uh, if you do, drop them down there in the chat so our viewers can go and check them out. Good on you, mate. Hopefully you're doing well. Grant is back. Sid's got on the screen and the rare sounds of 07 arrivals over my place at Rockdale. It's a good Friday night. Dropping in a fiver, kicking things off tonight. Good on you, Grant. Hopefully you're doing well, mate. Lovely to have your company on the show. And uh, yes, enjoy those 07 arrivals. It's not every day, is it? Robbo, the disabled vloggers here. Cheers, Curtin. Thanks for the Friday night stream. Oh, well, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Makes it uh, all that more better. Thank you for the three, my friend. Auburn2144, hello. Here we go. We've got a joke. Will invisible airplanes ever be a thing? I just can't see them taking off. <laughs> you cheeky devil. Good on you, Auburn2144. Uh, lovely to have you back on the show tonight, mate. Hopefully you're doing well. And uh, Kelly is here. And uh, g'day, Curtin, the Sid Squad, celebrating 11 months. Well done, Kelly, mate. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. And uh, that's 11 months up there at the pointy end. How good's that? Is that thumbnail worthy straight off the bat, uh, ladies and gents? Look at that. Wow, love it. Far out. FedEx now. Ready to go. Run my 1-6 right. They'll be waiting for the Jetstar 724 service in from Hobart, landing on the crossing runway 07. And uh, once they've uh, that once they pass the intersection, this FedEx is going to uh, rip snorter out of here. One six right. He'll be kicking the tires and lighting those fires. <laughs> Spool it up. All right. So Qantas one zero three will just be uh, slowing things up a little bit tonight before they depart. Qantas seven three seven there at Alpha One getting into the uh, getting into the executive position to uh, depart. There we go, the FedEx now clear for takeoff. The tripler, turn it up. It's going to be a perler. Just over the uh, the Johnny Big Mac, the big kicker there. He's just riding that lip nicely, and he's uh, he's getting away. That is beautiful. Lovely to see those uh, those uh, landing lights just piercing through the night sky there. Just beautiful. There we go. FedEx out the door there and doing that right hand bank. Oh, come on, keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> Oh, and we're a bit quiet again now on the uh, on the northern apron, but we do have 
We do have a little bit of aircraft over here. We've got our uh, our Qantas 103, and now there's a, uh, a 737 service, which got the jump on the 103 as it's uh, as it's waiting to depart. And um, we'll have a quick look at that. Oh, the wind ripping through here hard tonight. Ripping, ripping, ripping. Message coming here from Josh Aldrich. And uh, g'day, Kurt. Uh, hooray for the curfew stream. Good on you, Joshy. Thank you for being here, my friend. And uh, 22 months up there in the Sydney Harbour Suite. Much love to you. And uh, appreciate your wonderful support. Well done, well done. Message coming in now from uh, David Rome. Good evening, Kurt, from Canberra after my 10 days in Tassie. Then just got to fly on... Um, uh, just got to fly on uh, four, uh, X-Ray 4 Alpha, the Qantas, the new A220 from Melbourne, uh, vegging back in uh, in the Ramada at the moment. Ah, oh, that's right, David, you sent me a couple of pictures. So you're in Canberra now at the moment because that service went from, yeah, so uh, evening, Kurt, from Canberra. That's right, because that service went from Melbourne to Canberra. So now you're quietly sitting in there in the hotel room. Well, good on you, mate, and thanks for flicking those uh, those photos through. And uh, thanks also for, for celebrating 23 months in the Sydney Harbour Suite. Love it. Here we go now. Qantas uh, 737 now is uh, cleared for takeoff. Runway 16 right. Let's uh, let's see it go. Love that how they just sit there with their landing lights already on on the sh on the uh, on the show for Sid Squad. How good is that? Because <laughs> they've only lit themselves up just for us, you know. <laughs> Here we go. No, not a little bit of a uh, little bit of study there on the uh, the old ATC. Oh, thank you for coming. I just saw there in the foreground a little bit of Air China Tripler. Two eleven vacate left ground one two one seven. Vacate left ground on one two one seven. Singapore two eleven. A big shout out to a couple of uh, viewers of the show from uh, up from Melbourne. Just come up to say hello uh, to us here at uh, Sid Squad. Everybody's welcome up here, which is fantastic. I uh, love it. Well, it's almost thumbnail less as well. As we wait for a. Uh, Waiting for an ambulance 261 to roll through. Now, actually, I did hear this. Singapore Airlines actually rolled uh, rolled That's through uh, 07. And uh, so we did have a heavy rollout as we were watching all that uh, activity up here at the northern end. And uh, it was the tripler. The cheeky devil came in 07. So that was uh, one. That's one nil to uh, runway 07 over 16. So that's not fair. It's not fair at all. It's quite a it's quite a unique angle, actually. This one, as they taxi homebound there on Golf, uh, he'll hold short, I believe, of the uh, the main north south runway, unless he's already got a cross. I, I didn't hear anything, but no, surely not now. 
So Qantas 103, it's a service off to Honolulu, is down at um, runway 16 right. It has been cleared for takeoff. So that Singapore will just hold short there and uh, wait for the, uh, the 3.30 to pass by. Here we go. So a fair bit of camera shake going on tonight again. Picked a day where it's windy, but uh, you know, didn't want to miss an opportunity to come out and uh, see the Sid Squad fan bam on a Friday night. How about it? Yeah, it's the end of the working week. Feel good for the weekend and uh, come and check out some action here at uh, Sydney Airport. Uh, look, lovely, lovely to see. She's just beautiful. Okay, so up here at the northern end, um, we've got our uh, Air China friends, and uh, they're just sitting off there to the left. You've got a Qantas 737 about to roll out onto the runway, and uh, behind them you can see the, uh, the DHL. Now, am I going to miss, am I going to miss another, um, oh, sorry, I wanted to pull that up. Am I going to miss another heavy coming in on runway 07? I've, I've, I've only got so many fingers, but uh, no, it doesn't look like it at the moment. Um, yeah, and what are the winds doing? What do we got here? I've got to have a look and, and wait until that rotates through, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll see it. But um, yeah, 60% humidity, and uh, can't really see those those tents under the air under the uh, the lights. But um, there we go, Singapore Airlines. They're going to make their way to the bay. The trip luck getting across of uh, the main runway. Uh, okay, is that coming in 07? You think? Qantas uh, 26, perhaps, yeah, yeah, no, it's rounded out nicely, so, yeah, so an A330 in from Japan, we're going to miss out. There we go, our velocity's just rolled through there, 07 as well. That uh, aircraft now cleared for takeoff, Qantas 749 is uh, runway 16 right, uh, Singapore Airlines has cleared. So here we go. There we go, Air China to uh, line up and wait. It's going to be in the. Um, it's going to be in that uh, position to uh, hold for a little bit up there at the um, the northern end of the field. So we'll um, we'll keep an eye on them as they uh, get into position. Um, always like to see the triple seven. Now we've also got Cathay 139 approaching from the north. Fingers crossed they actually come in for runway 16 right. Four thirteen Delta up landing, roll through to vacate at Delta. Wind one four zero degrees, one two knots, runway zero seven. Message coming in now from uh, Echo Hello. The uh, hours of power love your shows. Good on you, Echo Hello. Thank you so much for being here tonight. MTN Photographs is here. Great to see you back at it, Kurt. I watched the replay of the uh, the last stream. Was great. So I saw Kenny wearing a South jersey. Uh, is there a complaints tab on your website? <laughs> All is well, mate. Oh, geez. I, I think Kenny is actually at home at the moment, tuned in on the big screen. So uh, I'm sure he will pass on. I'm sure he will come back with uh, with some form of uh, of reply there. No doubt. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, mate, for that generous contribution to the show as well. Thank you for being here, buddy. And Josh D is up there in the Bondi Beach Cabana for eight months. Happy anniversary, Josh. Lovely to have your company. Message coming in from uh, South is nice. G'day, South is nice up there in the Bondi. Bondi Beach Cabana. Welcome to the Sid Squad Fan Bam. Thank you for seeing value in the membership. Thank you, mate. 
And uh, Fearless and Fabulous is back saying, all good, skin cancer, um, excisions, and skin grafts. Okay, by the way, oh, Kimberly's my name. See, I thought you were in the Kimberly. A lot of people come and sign off and say their location, so I just assumed you were up there. Kimberly, my apologies. Uh, it is another five. Thank you, Kimberly, my dear. And I'm glad to hear, but... Um, yeah, hopefully the, all the graphs go okay and they get everything that yeah, they need to. But, um, yeah, it's a good reminder to uh, to oh, all of us to make sure that we uh, always get our skin checked. And uh, good on you, Kimberly. Thanks for dropping in the five and clearing that up, silly Kurt. <laughs> Aidan Campbell's here. I lived in Australia for six months and I miss it. Yes, well, I can understand why. I can understand why, Aidan. Absolutely. Well, here we go, the triple R, ripping one out, runway one six right, let's go. Oh yeah, man, they've got engine glow. I can see it already. They're, they're, they're taking it, their, their sweet time to get airborne, though. That's quite the, uh, geez, that's quite the roll down there. Wind uh, zero nine zero degrees, one zero knots, runway uh, zero seven. Yeah, Qantas twenty six zero seven for a landing. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know if it's worthwhile doing the old zoom in there because that, yeah, she's too far gone now, unfortunately. Yeah, we won't, we won't see it. Never, never mind. Okay, an interesting little aircraft uh, has just popped up up here on the uh, the northern end of the field. Taxi through, little uh, little uh, you know, Szechuan Airlines. Hello there, welcome to the party. There we go. Channel 174, contact departure, Ocean 114. Qantas 494, Sydney Town. Message coming in now from uh, Sam Taylor, just as we see the... Um, uh, the Qantas 330 just come through there with all that dust. Wow, look at that dust. What is going on there? Qantas 26, they go left, call ground, 1217. Oh, if we get any other heavies coming in on 07, I need to pay attention to that because um, we missed it with the tripler. Nothing is built in Australia anymore. Bought a new TV and um, a set built antenna. Set built in, oh, set built in antenna. <laughs> Okay, right, I got you now, Sam. Where's that? Oh, that's a good question, mate. That's a very good question. I don't know where is, mate. Could be in, maybe, did it say Antelia or something? Maybe that's in Turkey, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Sam, welcome back to the show. Thanks for the generous contribution and uh, appreciate your company here tonight. <laughs> 494, wind 07, zero degrees, 90 knots, runway 07, clear land. Roger, Roger, Tim. Roger, mate. 37 at Bravo 2, runway 16 right. Line up and wait. All right, Szechuan, no movement yet on Szechuan. And uh, keep an eye on our Qantas 26 as it comes out from behind the uh, the building there at the back. Uh, the, uh, the 330. All right, uh, chat's flying tonight. Got to catch up. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Kebab after the stream. Formula Thermal. How about it? Well, uh, well, uh, speaking, I should actually introduce this gentleman. He's actually here tonight for uh, Formula Thermal. Are you there? Are you on the comms, mate? I'm on the comms. Hey, Yannick. Hello, my friend. How are you, buddy? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Pretty well, good. Nice well, of you to you. pop up here tonight and say hello to the well, Sid Squad well, live stream. Yeah, Hope, well, hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Thanks for inviting me out. No, that's okay, mate. 
Um, and thanks to you, I caught the uh, Haneda service coming in on runway 07. <laughs> <laughs> Kebab after the stream. Well, I'll tell you what, it's certainly not going to be McDonald's because everyone knows what happened last time I went and had McDonald's after the live stream. So uh, yeah, maybe a kebab, maybe a kebab is a better option. <laughs> uh, kebab is always a good option. I oh, love it, mate. Thanks for uh, that generous contribution. Jack Coco's here as well. Friday night sits quite brilliant. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, get on you, Jack. We are doing well, mate. And uh, thank you for you, uh, your company here on the show tonight. Appreciate it, mate. Ah, Katana is back. Introducing my dad to Curtview. Streaming now on our TV. Oh, on ya, Katana. And a big hello to your dad. And uh, that is absolutely magic. And uh, <laughs> that's the way. Building the community one person at a time. Uh, <laughs> wow, Yannick, smell that. And that's not the ridges, man. That is like, that is burnt rubber from touchdown on 07. You can smell that, right? That, that's, yeah, I can smell it. That is yeah. really strong. Whew. Wind's carrying it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The wind is coming in from a, uh, a southeasterly direction at the moment and uh, coming in from the direction that we're pointing the camera. Oh, stop it! Oh, the double, the twofer, the twofer nothing. Man, it's a shame, it's a shame that they were both so far away by the time we picked that up. But, uh, oh, jeez. What heavies have we got? Where's Cathay? Are they coming in runway 16 right? Surely they are at this rate. There's no right turn for Cathay now. They're, they're established 16 right. So uh, uh, we'll, be, we'll be seeing them uh, in, in just a moment. And uh, Sichuan now is uh, just positioning for a, uh, a departure off uh, runway 16 right as well. Gosh, it's almost, don't know where to look. Cathay 139, are reduced to minimum approach speed. Yes. Heavy to depart prior to your arrival. Yes, good. That's Contact a confirmation that Cathay 139 is, is coming in here 16 right. Rex 182 next to land 07. Let's have a quick look at Rex 182 as they roll through and see how those reverses go, picking up the, uh, the dust on 07. So I'll have a geezer in just a minute. They're almost over the keys on 07 behind us. As they've just come through the back of the car park there. So we don't really get a view, but let's have a look to see if we can see them here. Is that runway there? I think that is runway there. And we'll have a, we'll have a geezer and then try and get in nice and close and, uh, and enjoy that. Uh, oh yeah, there it is as they uh, touch down. This one, uh, 3884, runway 16 right, clear for takeoff. Well, nothing, nothing on that. Or it must be down. It could be down this end here, where all the uh, the dust is on the runway. Uh, not really much. Not really much chop. Thought there might be a little bit more. We need a heavy, another heavy, Yannick. Yep. Okay, Session now cleared for takeoff. Rolling one six right. Let's enjoy this one together. Jeez, they're loud. Oh, engine glow too. This is going to be tight because we've got Cathay now on short finals. And we've got engine glow. Look, I'll zoom in so you get a quick, 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 quick shout out at the engine glow there. Geez, are those, uh, oh, geez, rips up nicely. Cathay Pacific will just be uh, in front of the city. We'll rip that one around nice and hard. And uh, we'll pick Cathay up as they, uh, they come in. Oh, look at this, the 359er. Specky, hello. Welcome to Sydney, I tell you. Look at this. How does that look on your big screens, ladies and gentlemen? That must just look... Wooshka. Seven forty six service there from Adelaide. Well, oh, then welcome, welcome, Cathay. Not much else doing at the uh, the northern end here. We're just going to uh, keep an eye out on uh, some movements here on the uh, the northern apron, and hopefully we get some a little bit uh, a little bit later on as we watch some more of those. Uh, oh, it looks like Emirates four one seven is uh, pushed back over on the uh, the other side of the terminal there. So we might get a um, 
Oh, well, they'll definitely be coming out runway 1-6, so we'll see them for sure. Hey, my good mate Willie Hale is here. G'day, Willie. Hopefully you're doing well, mate. Welcome to the show. Dropping in a big 2-0. No message there, but message received loud and clear. How's that party? How's the house party going in, in Emu Plains, Big Willie? <laughs> Where's Kay? When's she coming back, mate? We need details. We need details, my friend. <laughs> and Bob Shalvoy's here. Sid, it's really beautiful at night. Oh, good on you. Thanks, Bob. And uh, we, we'd agree, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She's, uh, she is quite nice. Puts on a lovely show for us. Thank you so much for the uh, for the generous donation, Bob. And uh, hopefully you're doing well over there. Whereabouts are you in the states, mate? I want to know. Well, uh, Message coming in from uh, Made in Australia. Welcome to the Uluru Lodge. Uh, good on you, Made in Australia. Good, uh, thank you for seeing value in the membership there. We'll uh, we'll get you up on the um, we'll get you dedicated to the Emirates 417. That's the other uh, first of the heavy departures that we can see coming out here at the moment. Just around the back. So probably about another 10 minutes until we see it down here. But did you? Just want to say thank you for putting yourself up there in the Uluru Lodge. You get yourself access to all the emojis there, uh, access to the members only live streams from time to time as well, which is just fantastic. And of course, bragging rights for being in the most fantastic lodge going around, buddy. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Pete's come back and told us that he's going live on Sunday at 6 p.m. Cheers, mate. So uh, if you want your plane spotting fix in Adelaide, Sunday at 6 p.m. local time, just remember if you're in New South Wales uh, that we are half an hour ahead and we are still in daylight saving time. So there you go. There's all the intel there from uh, Pete down in Adelaide. Good on you, Pete. And hello to Mark, Kim, and to um, uh, oh, Mitch. And uh, Hans Arlef Mork is here. Hello from uh, the number. Uh, hello from uh, Norway. Uh, the Avro RJ100 is fascinating. Indeed, Hans. Indeed. I assume you get them over there. Dropping in 12 months there. Happy one year in the lodge, Hans. Where is that? That feels like it's gone so quick already, man. And uh, hopefully you're doing well tonight, Hans. Appreciate you uh, being here on the uh, the Sid Squad show again. And uh, oh, look out! Here we go. We've got a uh, we've got a right of reply coming in from Kenny. Yeah, the boys. Kiwi one zero six Sunday Arvo, please. <laughs> Kenny, I can confirm I will not be live streaming on Sunday afternoon. I do have some uh, personal arrangements that uh, will take me away from the airport. So unfortunately, I can't be out here to uh, to capture your departure. However, I do know somebody that works at the airfield that might be able to give you a cheeky hello. <laughs> so you never know. Hey, make sure you keep your, your, your eye looking out that window. Um, <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I did call the, uh, the Air China a tripler because normally it is a tripler and it's so dark out here, so I've missed it. Were you the only one that picked that up or did the chat go wild and say, what are you looking at, Kurt? <laughs> I do make those mistakes from time to time. How about it? I didn't want to say anything. Oh, Kurt. yeah, yeah, we'll yeah you, you should have. You should have. Otherwise, you, you might as well just put the headset down. <laughs> <laughs> Dougie Wickham's here. Curfew for the win. A great way to end the working week. Well, I've had a big working week, so there you go. Uh, good on you, Dougie. Thanks for the Kiwi too, mate. Lovely to have your company here on the show. Message coming in from Pete Butler from the two guys behind you. There we go, Pete. Oh, <laughs> that's very generous, mate. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys for being up here. Now I know who. Oh, now I've got a name and I've got a face to put to the name. And um, one second. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to get it working. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. Actually, we're gonna get you guys to come around here. We're gonna get you guys to come around here, and then we can um, we can give you get you to give a big wave to the uh, to the, uh, the to the Sid Squad family. You see, and uh, I've just got to fix something over here. See if I can fix something over here. And um, I forgot your name. Kevin. Kevin. Pete and Kevin. There we go, lads. We're on the big screen. So I've got a big shout out to Pete and Kevin. They've come up for some plane spotting this weekend from Melbourne, yeah? Well, welcome to Sydney. Come to one of the busiest airports. A little bit busier than Melbourne. And uh, so you got, are you guys photographers? Or are you just, just, happy to watch, just happy to watch with the eyeballs? How about it? And uh, Yanni, come on in, man. You've got to give everyone a big wave. Yeah. <laughs> it's my compatriot on the show today on the headset. So uh, welcome everyone and uh, thanks for being here today. Brilliant. As we are uh, just watching our Cathay 359 are coming into the, uh, onto the apron at the moment now. Wow, look at that. What a beauty. Gee, she looks good.
my favourite. Oh yes, yeah. Don't mind if you don't mind if you do come to um, Bay Eight, but I don't think you. I think you go on Bay Nine because there's no one here at Bay Eight to receive you. Is that left turn? Yeah. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Oh, I love that you can see the uh, the, hay, the HUD. Look at that. You can see the head-up displays there, the green. That's magic. Well, nicely done to the Cathay lads, the 359er, bringing it in beautifully here onto Bay 9. Nice looking jet. Uh, where are we at here? What's now? What, what's the movements going? Waiting for our Emirates 417. Rexy's about to drop it in on runway 07. So we won't see that. There's not much else going on here at the northern end. Although, what's going on over there with our, uh, with our Singapore Airlines? They were getting a lot of work done before. It's like they're pushing back. Yeah, beacon on. So a, uh, a pushback coming up for our uh, Singapore Airlines DHL livery over there at the, uh, the northeastern uh, freight apron. So uh, spool it up, lads. It's going to be a bit hard to hear that tripler because the sound is going to go over to Tempe <laughs> and to St. Peter's. <laughs> We won't get the uh, we won't get the benefit of that one. Message coming in from Matthew Claremont. Welcome to the Gold Coast Penthouse. Good on you, Matthew. Thank you for your support here tonight on the show. Peter Jones back from Brisbane. Uh, awesome delivery of the t-shirts. I did notice that they're sent from Brisbane. Being a local, it was quick time to order the delivery. Quality of the t-shirt is awesome. Ah, there you go, Pete. Uh, thank you so much, mate, for that. That wonderful intel. Yes, we've got our supplier up there in Brisbane. And um, so, uh, yeah, for you living in Brizzy, you can order anything, any of the shirts and the hoodies, as I just watched the, uh, the A380 coming around the corner in just a moment. Um, yeah, any of the shirts and the hoodies, uh, apparel is all coming in from Brisbane. So if you want it quick, uh, order it in and uh, you will absolutely get it, mate. Good on you, Pete. Oh, here we go. Brian Bruce. Good evening, Kurt. Hopefully all is well with you. 17 degrees wind chill, huh? <laughs> Hopefully you packed. I did pack the puffer tonight, Brian. I did, I did, I did. By the way, Loki says hi to you and to Toby. Oh, I'll tell Toby when I get home, mate. That's kind. <laughs> uh, good on you, mate. And uh, uh, that's very, very, that's very <laughs> generous contribution to the show, as always. And um, uh, thank you, buddy. Thank you so much for your uh, wonderful support. And uh, yes, it is. She's, she is blowing uh, quite the business here tonight. And uh, what have we got? 14 knots, 15 knots. And uh, yes, it does actually feel like all of that 17 degrees here. I'm wearing the uh, I'm wearing the LS tonight, the uh, the long sleeve, and um, Kevin's doing well in his short sleeve. Although we, we're all wearing jeans, which makes which makes proper sense, and a couple of hoodies going around as well. <laughs> no shorts and t-shirts out here tonight at the moment. Even hey, actually, Brian, you'll get this. Even Tim said this afternoon that he he was looking for the uh, for the hoodie, and he rarely he rarely puts uh, much else on other than shorts and a t-shirt, because he comes from God's country down there at the Southern Shire, right? So, um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, the latest intel in is that runway 07 will operate until 10 p.m. And then uh, we're going to be uh, all 1-6 direction, which is great news for us as we round out the final hour of power up until 11 p.m. So 39 minutes left on the clock, and then 07 operations will cease, and it'll all be runway 1-6 here tonight. Um, and that's okay. It's been a little bit different for your uh, for your viewing pleasure this evening. It certainly kept me on my toes, and uh, will also do for the next 40 minutes. Not used to uh, standing up here trying to operate two runways at a time. Uh, does get a little bit confusing to work out what I'm looking at. Uh, but never mind. Never mind. Hopefully, um, hopefully everybody is still enjoying the coverage. Uh, we've got a message. Oh, it looks like Thai Airways is slotting them in for runway 07. Keep an, uh, give me a tap on the shoulder, Yannick, because I want to know. Yeah, you you yeah, know, you I'll can you. open your mouth and yeah, tell me. Talk you know? Yeah, you, you can yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that, that was, the, um, <laughs> that, that was quite, tri quite the trick. Uh, Philip Tawley, welcome to the Gold Coast penthouse. Good on you, Philip. 
Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. And another message coming in from uh, ASJE Aviation HQ. Welcome to the Bondi Beach, Kavana. Oh, well done. Thank you so much for your wonderful support up there. The Bondi Beach, Kavana, a famous place to be. Adam Maddy's here. I've got this awful Roughly disease five, where I can't stop telling one, airport one, puns. Five, I think zero, it may three, be terminal. Happy <laughs> Friday. Zero, Matt, Adam, that, that is terrible, mate. I've got to move right along. That's one of your worst. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, your link is here. Did you lads see the 777 hydraulic issue? Yes, I did. I, uh, I did see it. Um, I saw a video of it on, uh, on YouTube, in fact. If we're talking about the, uh, oh, there we go, Singapore pushing back in the background there. If we're talking about the United Airlines, yes. Uh, but no, Sid Squad didn't, didn't, didn't film it. Uh, that's not Sid Squad footage, in case anyone is wondering. Uh, Daniel Hick down there in the gong is here. Sneaky curfew tonight after I've had a sneaky burger. Shout out to my brother Josh Hick watching also. G'day, Josh, and uh, hello to Daniel. Oh, how about it, mate? You've got yourself involved there on a, uh, on a sneaky burger tonight. Well done, mate. Well done. You know, after I was down there the other day for the air show, I have just got um, I got withdrawals. I need to get myself down there and get, get, get involved in another sneaky, sneaky burger. And I tell you what, I don't know. If, I think it might be the chips that I enjoy actually even a little bit more than the sneaky burger, if I've got to be dead honest with you. But um, it just, it just comp they complement each other so well. Uh, so, yes. I know exactly. Wow, look at this. Look at these. Look at these lines. Look at the angles on this Emirates A380 here. This is just spectacular. As it's getting ready to line up for a departure here, full length runway one six right. Ah, magic. Just beautiful. Ah, Brioni's here. Hello. We're going to try Sneaky Burger tomorrow. Finally, what burger would you recommend? I think I had the signature. To be honest, Brioni. I actually think I had the signature, which is the, um, well, I mean, it's their, their one of the, well, probably their uh, their main burger, I, I dare say. It's for 17 Super Sydney Tower, Alpha 1, runway 16 right, line up. Okay, so they're lining up. Have we, uh, where are we with that arrival there with Thai Airways, Yannick? What do we got? Uh, it's looking like it's lined up for 07, but How, it, it, could, it could make a left turn. And, oh, yeah, okay. It could go downwind for uh, one six, right? No, not from this position. Yeah, right. so, so, so Bree, I recommend the right, um, runway, uh, the signature. Right. Emirates now 417, dedicating this to our newest member there in the lodge. Now clear for takeoff, 16 right. Josh Hick is here. Here we go. Good timing. Evening, Kurt. Great stream. Uh, Korean Airlines 17, mid Pacific, pulling 673 knots ground speed. Awesome. Wow, that is quite the ground speed. 673 knots ground speed. Man, that's quite the tailwind. Are you sure about that? Wow. And thanks for the shout out from the big bro. Yeah, how about that? That's brilliant. Oh, good on you, mate. Uh, thank you for celebrating with us. 12 months. Happy one year. Why oh, is this thumbnail material right there? Oh, you tell me. I want to see the emojis in the chat. Come on, let's paint the chat. Paint the chat. <laughs> okay, the big super Emirates now on the runway. 1-6 right for a departure. Spooling up hard. Let's enjoy this one together. Here we go. This guy. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Yeah. It is raining out there. Wow. So I think the spray you saw on 07 was water. You reckon? Yeah. On the outside of the runway. Has this, this rain has only just started, though. Might have been from previous wow weather. wow where's this rain coming from have you got the bomb there can you just pull it up i can pull it up if it's coming in from the southwest where we're, we're probably or the or the west hopefully it's coming in westerly oh the emirates yeah, just getting up there nicely runway one six right beautifully gosh god she ran heavy tonight didn't she 474 great views for those of you staying up there in the uh, the ridges how about it there we go, Singapore to line up and wait. All right, let me just check the radar. Where's the rain coming from? Jeez, there's not much on the it's radar. Much, no. What is going on? And you know what? It's southeasterly too, so we've got to be yep. we've got to be careful up here because uh, if that rain comes in, we're in uh, we're in no man's land, man. 
Yeah, you can see it there. Oh, poor, poor Jerry got wet last night. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what he was thinking, man. And uh, Papa Kilo's here. Good to see you all again. I get on your Papa Kilo. Thank you for your support up there in the uh, Uluru Lodge. Love it. Oh, message coming in from uh, Wheelie Big Bike Trip. Welcome to the Sydney Harbour Suite. Wow. Good timing to you, my friend, because we've got the, uh, the Tripler, which is um, almost ready to go, the, uh, the Singapore. And uh, we're going to dedicate this one to you, Wheelie Big Bike Trip. Thank you so much for putting yourself up there in the Sydney Harbour Suite. You'll get your name on the ticker on the next live show. Access to all the emojis and the members-only live shows from time to time. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> runway 16 right, head take off. All right. There we go. The triple are now cleared for takeoff. Runway 16 right. <laughs> Listen to that. Wow, that was beautiful. Whoa, oh, we're, we're BTS. Whoa, stand by. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> the cheeky uh, BTS just uh, popped up. Sydney Tower, continue approach. Singapore seventy four forty one. We need to get some intel, uh, Tim. Oh, is our is our Atlas seven four seven going tonight, mate? Uh, what have you got for us? What have you got for us there? See you, Pete. See you, Kevin. Thank you so much for coming and saying hello. Stay, stay warm <laughs> and enjoy your trip up to Sydney. And now uh, we'll see you again. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Ciao. Ciao. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's lovely to have uh, some uh, local visitors there coming up from Melbourne to uh, say hello to us here at, uh, at the Seed Squad family. Uh, it's just fantastic. Fantastic. Aiden Campbell's here. G'day, Aiden. Upgraded the membership to the Gold Coast Penthouse. Well done, Aiden. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that wonderful support there into the Sit Squad family. Yes, good stuff. Mark Bingham is here. Hi, Kurt. Hi, everyone. Dropping in a three. G'day, Mark. Welcome to the show, you legend. Always supporting us here at Sid Squad. Team Stripes moves up there in the Bondi Beach. Cabana for one month. Happy anniversary to you. Hey, Brady McWilliams back. Flew the Sarmo. Five, wind, one, four, zero degrees. One, four, not. Yeah. Exit uh, Golf 4 or Echo are available. Runway 07, exit land. All right, there we go. Thai Airways, you'll see them come through the car park. Well, we won't, but um, the viewers here will see it. Come through the car park, and then um, we'll uh, we'll get to see them uh, roll out on uh, runway uh, 07. I wonder, well, yeah, like you said, Yannick, if there is that water kick up, uh, what's this flying over the field here through the clouds? Check that. There you go. There's your port and your starboard lights. Your red and your green light illuminating that cloud quite nicely, isn't it? Hey, I'm Brady. Uh, I'm going to come back to you, buddy. That's Fiji uh, 915. Ah, oh, is it the 738 Max, is it? Yep. Wow, gee, that looks quite quite the sight coming through the clouds there, doesn't it? That's it awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, waiting for our uh, tie airways to come through. Got to bring you back up there, uh, Brady. Didn't, didn't uh, read it there. Flew, uh, flew out of Bangstown. 20 knot winds. Wow. Left us with a sporty approach indeed. No doubt, especially in a light. Planning for a trip to Goulburn to Shell Harbour tomorrow. Sid Squad gets to decide where we do circuits. Goulburn or, or um, Shell Harbour. Well, I'm going to tell you to do circuits at Shell Harbour because Timmy's going down to Shell Harbour tomorrow. Big Jet TV's going to be at Shell Harbour tomorrow. Nigel's going to be at Shell Harbour tomorrow. So um, there you go. That's where you need to be. Do your circuits there and uh, somebody might even see you. How about it? There you go, Brady. 
<laughs> that's the that's what I'll tell you. <laughs> does that does that win the contest? Does that win? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah, message from Robert Thomas, three forty six from my favourite, A three forty six hundred. Ah yes. Uh, good to reminisce about the old three forty sixes, eh? How about that? Although we don't uh, we don't have any here, unfortunately, to uh, for you to reminisce about. Oh, but that's okay. That's okay. The three forty sixes. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of them too, to be honest. And a message now coming in from uh, Cam. Uh, I love the stream. Watching from from Christchurch. I get on your Cam. Welcome to the Sid Squad show, mate. Uh, all the way over there in Kiwi Land. Tuning in from Christchurch. No, no, no pickup, no dust. Maybe the earlier aircraft did all the work and got rid of it all. I'm, I don't think it was rain, Yannick. I'm oh. pretty sure it had to have been dust. Couldn't have been rain. Because there'd still be wa there'd still be water left over for sure. Yeah. Because we haven't had all, we haven't you know we haven't had a have an A380 or something go on that runway to to really uh, get rid of that. Cam, thank you, mate. And uh, message coming in from Chris Reed, Bondi Beach, Cabana. Get on you, Chris. Thank you for your support. Nine months up to there. It's beautiful. Matt D. G'day, Matty. Okay, Dropping in a fiver. I went to, uh, to place an order. And it wouldn't yeah, let me. Man, said that uh, Aero 404 for two days. Uh, I went to place an order. And it wouldn't let me. Said Aero 404. Okay, are, are we talking about... Are we talking about uh, our, our merchandise, or is this a joke and I've missed it? Because is that is that is that a, is that a dad joke and I've just missed it? Maybe it is. <laughs> Are you let? I'm not sure if that's a dad joke. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, let me know, Matt, let me know, because um, I'm, I'm, uh, I've had a long no, week and I might, I might have missed that one. <laughs> ben Collis, keep up the great streaming going, guys. Love him. I'll get on you, Ben. Five months in the penthouse, you legend. Peter Jones back again from Brizzy, dropping in a fiver. KC30 left the, uh, the Northrop hangar up here in Brizzy. Uh, this afternoon, but it didn't make it to the runway. Yeah, I did actually see that on the uh, the lad show up there in Brizzy, the uh, Only Planes Network. It got pushed back into the hangar. Matt and James captured it. Yes, indeed, they did. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there, eh, with that. That was uh, that was quite the sight to see, to be honest. I've got to be completely honest with you. But um, yeah, well, big shame that it uh, big shame that it didn't um, well didn't didn't actually depart because that would have been quite the sight. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, well, I'm sure the lads over the weekend will be uh, will be definitely keeping an eye on that one. And um, if it uh, if it hasn't already departed, there's that burnt tyre smell again. That's from Thai Airways for sure. Has to be. It smells Has like steak. Smells like steak. I'm hungry now. I don't know about you, man. That smells oh. like burnt tyre. <laughs> uh, it smells like steak. <laughs> smells like steak. He says. Good on you, Pete. Thanks for coming back again, mate. Oh, China Eastern departing now, taxing down Alpha, as we uh, as we see our, our Super Q. Uh, they've well, they're in the process of pushing back as we speak, and uh, lovely to see the uh, the China Eastern 359er coming out to play as well, which is just fantastic. In 455 data on my 169 at takeoff. Wow, the wind here now picking up a yet again. Far out. Oh, look at that, the Tufa. Oh, look, we got to we got to watch this. We have to watch this. Ooh, I feel the shake there in that in the yeah. car park. What's going on? Earthquakes. Look at that. Look at those props lit up spectacularly. This is just brilliant. We've got to call it the prop. Prop glow. The prop glow. Is that, is that what we're calling it? The yeah. prop glow. Yeah, we've got an emoji there in the chat for the props, the Dash 8 props. Get it in there. Paint the chat. Come on. Oh, wow. I know it's grainy. I know it's grainy, but, like, look at that. That is just... you got to enjoy that. Yeah, th th this is these are the scenes that we get to enjoy on the night show there. Oh, the Dash 8. Oh, I love it. That's just brilliant. Bit of a uh, bit of a spool up now for our um, for our Qatari here on the uh, on the apron. And also keeping an eye on our uh, China Eastern friends going down there to uh, Alpha One for a departure.
Oh, jeez. Fair, fair bit of wind going. Oh, Matt, okay, I'm with you now. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my, yeah, absolute class, Matt. <laughs> absolute class. I'm going to pull that one up in just a minute, mate. It deserves, it, it deserves the, the air time that I'm going to give it, but... Oh, jeez. Just confirm line up and wait. There will be traffic landing the crossing right way. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that means don't take off. Sorry, just unreadable there. Just confirm line up and wait. I'm going to wait until it's 40, wind 140 degrees, 14 knots. Traffic lined up on the crossing runway, waiting for you. Runway 07, clear to land. Oh, I love it. Oh, message coming in from Johnny Vogel. Fire out that wind, man. Yeah, that's, that's a bit more than 14 knots. Man, that is, that is yeah. gusting quite, quite a bit. Uh, oh, curfew, simply marvellous. Oh, Johnny, mate, you're simply marvellous, mate. Come on, mate. You cheeky devil. So lovely to have your company here tonight again, mate. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Message coming in from Luzany. Gosh, that's a long time, Luzany, uh, since I've seen you, mate. Your most important member just hit the one-year mark. I dedicate this stream to myself. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Happy one-year, mate, to Luzany, you legend over there at WA. How are you, buddy? Oh, mate, oh, I love that. I love it when people do that. I like it. You've got to talk on behalf of me because if, 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 if you don't do it, I'm, I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I like that. Uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin Rules is here. Uh, G'day, Kurt. Watching from onboard Qantas 927. Qantas 927. Where are you, mate? Where's 927? Where's Yannick? Where's Qantas 927? Where is it? Let me have a look. Kevin Rules. Yeah, right. Um, are you inbound? Qantas 927. Where's that from? Is that a Queensland fright? Fright. Flight? Queensland fright. <laughs> Queensland fright. Kevin, we'll, we'll try and try and find you, mate. All right, here we go. Trying to race some ripping one out. One six right. Booyah! Twenty-seven, Yannick, you found it? I found him. Where is he? Uh, he's 20 minutes out. Oh, inbound, 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 inbound. Yeah, right. Like it, like it, like it that he's inbound. Yeah. That's Cairns to Sydney. Cairns to Sydney, yeah, coming in from the north. Oh, look at this. We get to see uh, our Qatari friends vacating the apron here now. Magic, 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 magic. They'll be doing a left-hand turn out of the apron and then joining us for a departure here at runway 16 right. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the combat fund. Right, so here he goes. He goes, he went He went to a place to order a kebab and they uh, they wouldn't let me. Said error four, error four for two days. Is that what you're talking about, Matt? That's insane. Oh, there we go. Dropping in a big pineapple. Matt, you cheeky devil. <laughs> and uh, that is uh, some, some serious generosity right there, my friend. <laughs> oh, good on you, buddy. Thank you again for your support. As always, mate, you're a legend. You're an absolute legend around here. And uh, you know it. You know it. Smithy's here, 67 member up there in the Sydney Harbour Suite. Hi, Kurt. Love watching that tight 777 smoking its tyres on the east-west runway. Yes, indeed. That's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. Smoke the tyres. And I tell you what, somebody else is smoking some tyre here. The Jets are now punching it out. Runway 16 right. Here we go. Got to talk to 16 right media about those data tags there. Here we go, Jetstar 613 to Avalon. Slow pickup, all good in the end. Good day, velocity 571, Freddy. 
Chopper City Velocity 571, Sydney Tower, line up from my 16 right and wait, traffic to land crossing runway. Line up and wait, runway 1. Hey, message coming in from uh, my anchor, Danewell. Bit chilly here in uh, Bathurst, boys. I tell you what, she is a bit chilly today. Uh, I don't know what's what's happened to our warm weather, but we've uh, yeah we've certainly lost it. It's um yeah, it's quite chilly. Well, keep it uh, keep, look after yourself up there in Bathurst. Is uh, is all I'll say there. I needed another jumper. Yeah, do you really? I've got one in the bag if you nah, if you if you're desperate. I've I've got All you right. covered there, Yanni. Come on. Get on <sighs> you, get on you, Mayank. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being here. Message coming in from Craig C. Hello, Craig C. Hoodie Kurt, uh, howdy Kurt and the crew. Just home after the daughter's hockey warming up with a little engine glow. Oh, I get on you, Craig. Love it. Oh, we could use some engine glow up here, I reckon. Oh, there we go. Velocity there on the runway is is uh, now cleared for takeoff. Runway 16 right. All right, here we go. The velocity 738. Just 769, left out of left golf, no delay off the runway. Beautiful purple interior there. Nice, nicely done there. Uh, yeah, a little bit, little bit of engine glow there. It's, uh, you can just see a touch. I don't know if that comes through the show, but... Yeah, there's a slither, isn't there? Slither of engine glow there, isn't there? Yep. Yeah, really like it, really like it. Now we're just seeing our uh, Qatari friends just get out there onto the uh, to the main north-south runway just as Matt D gone and dropped another super. It was the website oh. and, a, and a kebab <laughs> with the... Oh, OK, so are you talking about our website or, or a kebab website? What are we, we're, 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 I'm getting confused. I'm getting mixed lines here, Matty. You're sending me up a, um, you're sending me up a, a path I don't, know, I don't know how to return from. One thing, I think we've got two conversations going on here. If you are you talking about our website and the merchandise sales was 404 for two days, or are you making a joke saying that the kebab site was down for two days? I'm lost, man. You, you gotta, you gotta let me know. You gotta clear, clear the air. I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> All right, here we go, Qatari ripping it out. Let's enjoy this one. Here we go. Hey, Karen Glenn's there in the chat. Hello. Hello, Melanie Dale. Hello there. John Molyneux, Paul Newman, welcome to the show. Aidan Campbell's there. Yvonne Shane is there. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here again. So many familiar names there in the chat. You guys are awesome. Express 39, wind uh, 130 degrees, 9 knots from my 37, clear to land. Sorry, Matt, I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just, I just didn't get it. I think we've, I think we've crossed lines with two conversations. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think it was the website he was talking about. The Sid Squad website. Maybe, yeah, maybe, it maybe he's talking yeah. about our Sid Squad. Oh, Craig Jordan saying Maccas is down. Yeah, I saw that on the news actually earlier tonight. That um, Maccas is down. Yes, I did. I did hear about that one. I won't lie about that. So what are you going to do after the stream? Oh, hello there. Hello there. Is that somebody? Do I know that voice? That Come again. Like nice. Come again. Check one two oh. one two. Ah uh, yes yes. Check one two. Check one two. Lovely to have your company on the uh, on the show. How, how are you, my friend? Mate, I'm doing all right. Thank you, you very much. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Nice to have your company. It's lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's always a pleasure to have your company here, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, jeez. Yeah, give me a sec. I'm just going to reply to Okay, he's cleared that up. It was the merch store. Oh, why didn't you tell us? I didn't actually notice it was down for two days. Is that is that the case? Maybe I need to do a... I do need to do a recce because we did have orders coming through. Um, uh, I... Um, yeah, wow. Hey, Nigel. Yeah? Happy birthday. 
<laughs> who told, who told well, you? Mate, it's it's in my calendar and it's all over social media, by the way. So uh, let's be oh, honest. Really? Yeah, pe- oh. people have been wishing you happy birthday all day. Oh, really? So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you, buddy? Mate, you you know, a- I'm, a bit, I'm a little bit older, but I don't know about the wiser part. I'm still yeah. working on that. <laughs> <laughs> give, yeah, give, yes. give me a little while. <laughs> uh, w- w- welcome to the club. <laughs> Very mate. cool. Oh, that's lovely to hear you. you lovely to hear you here tonight. Oh, look, I just got home from a lovely dinner with the family and just thought I'd jump in, seeing as you got your couple of hours of power. I thought oh, I'd just pop in, say hello, and see how things are going. Yes, very good. Very good. Oh, it's lovely to hear your voice again, mate. Oh, mate, lovely to be here. Yes, yes. Now, um, uh, I've got a message coming in here from Aiden. He's back again. I've got so used to track and flight radar that I love it. Yeah, how good is it? The uh, the flight radar twenty four website is just uh, so handy, isn't it? Um, one of one of the best out there, and um, yeah, we love it. We love it. Good on you, Aiden. Now, Nigel, back to Nigel for two seconds. What uh, what what intel can you give us about what's going on tomorrow down at uh, Old Haas? Um, I'll be turning up after um, after my son's cricket grand final in the morning. Oh, so, good uh, luck. Good luck to yeah, Ollie, but, mate. Good luck. But, but, mate, the fingers crossed he comes away with the uh, with the spoils there. But, yeah, um, with the bacon. That's it, mate. It's likely to be a pretty tough game. But um, look, we'll see how we go. But, yeah, after the cricket game, um, I'll uh, be making a little appearance down at Haas. I don't know what activities they've got planned tomorrow. Um, I did hear word that today apparently they were going to be doing some engine runs on the Drover. I don't know whether that went ahead or not because I didn't get down there. Ah, um, uh-huh, okay, yep. But uh, Southern Cross was up yesterday. Oh, um, wow, fantastic. Some training flights, and that, that's always a great little aircraft. Well, little, she's quite a bit of a bit of a tank of an aircraft, but uh, it's always good to see the Southern Cross up flying. And uh, they're doing some pilot training yesterday, so fingers crossed they've got a few more pilots now to check off on the Southern Cross, and hopefully yes. that means she'll be doing a little more flying. Um, but oh, the uh, the Orion's currently in for some maintenance. Um, I presume that they may do some engine runs tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, not really sure what the goes with that, but um, I don't have too much to do with the Orion. So uh, uh, Connie's parked at the front. I'm not sure when she's due to fly next, but they've been working on her as well. So oh, um, beautiful, a nice little showing there of the Connie. That's it, mate. Look, any day down at Haas is a good day. And yeah. uh, if, if you've not been there before, folks, seriously, it's well worth a visit. It's, um, it's not that far away from Sydney. Uh, you can catch the train down to Albion Park Rail and uh, walk across from the train station to Haas. It's only a short walk. But, um, yeah, fantastic museum. Lots of things to see, lots of things to do. And uh, the good thing is uh, a lot of the old guys that are down there uh, have worked on the aircraft or, they, um, uh, or they've or like, they flown some of the aircraft as well. So you can really sort of get to pick their brains on some of the more in-depth questions, I suppose, that you might have about some of the aircraft they've got yeah. there. Oh, good. And uh, you're, you're, you're becoming quite the old hat there now um, as, a, as a volunteer at Haas, which is great. Old hat, mate. I'm probably the youngest bloke there. I, I, actually, yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. You are right. <laughs> but, uh, no, look, I mean, the, the I, I, I kind of meant that as a, as a part of the furniture, you know. You're uh, settling in quite nicely down there at Haas. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's good, mate. Like when... Um, when the kids are at school and, and my wife's at work um, or sleeping after a night shift. Days off for you, yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's nice to get out there and just help out where I can. Um, I'm not qualified in any means in terms of like engineering or mechanics or anything like that. But um, but look, if someone needs me to find a 10 mil spanner, um, I'll have just as much trouble finding that as what the mechanics do because you never a 10 mil when you need one. <laughs> Mate, that warehouse is that warehouse. That hangar, sorry, is so big that it's like, yeah, I, it's, it doesn't surprise me that uh, it's, it's hard to find some stuff. <laughs> oh, it's massive. It's massive. And uh, just to everyone who's uh, throwing in happy birthdays in there on the chat, thanks heaps, guys. Really oh, appreciate it. that. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, how good. And have we got anything else coming in? 07, it's holding us up. It is. So all, all Nippon Airways will hold out here because we've got a Jetstar service coming in uh, sideways at the moment. But Smithy has gone ahead and gifted five Sid Squad memberships. Look out who we got. We've got Pat Murphy, Ivan Bowden, Mr. Fizz, Evan Grego, and Richard B. Congratulations, guys. The newest five Sid Squad members here at the, at the Fan Bam. And um, congratulations. To, oh, good on you, Smithy. Thank you, mate. Uh, very, very uh, kind gesture, that, my friend. And a uh, message here coming in from Mark Bingham is back again. Happy birthday, Nigel. 100. He's 100 years old. 100. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh. 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 Sting. How does he get away with that? That's cheeky. Oh, mate. Oh, jeez. Oh, 100. 
Oh, I'm wow, not that's even uh... half that. I'm not even half that, folks. Come on, be nice. <laughs> I tell you what, be when nice. you do, we're having a big party. A um, oh. Shrubbies here, Acre, cheeky, breezy to Wollongong tonight, then send it at homebound tomorrow after four weeks away. Can't wait to get home. Have a great rest of the stream, you legends. Also, happy birthday, oh, Nige. Oh, there you go, thanks, Shrubbies. Thanks very much. Shrubbies. You appreciate that, mate. Thank you. And. Um, uh, well, Shrubsy, stay safe on the road, mate, for the uh, for the for the trek to Wollongong and then uh, homebound tomorrow, and uh, look after yourself. Always a pleasure having uh, you here on the show, as you know, mate. And I can't wait to catch up with you again real soon. Good on you, Shrubsy. Thank you, mate. Star Alliance now pumping it out one six right. Here we go. Johnny Logan's there. Good evening, all. Hello, Johnny. Is Craig Jordan in the trap chat dropping dad jokes all night? Is he? Is he? What's he said there, Yannick? Can you read it out for me? I hung out once with a billionaire <laughs> aircraft no, restorer one, once at a 10 mil spanner. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying, Craig? Hey, Arunta, thank you so much for being here. Lovely to have your company on the show. I hung out once with a billionaire aircraft restorer once he had a 10 mil spanner. <laughs> yes, Craig. <laughs> nothing, nothing better than that from Craig. I tell, come on, man. <laughs> 10 million dollar spanner. <laughs> I'm telling you, mate, anyone who's worked in a workshop but will tell you the yeah. Kendall Spanner is the hardest one to find. <laughs> it's always the hardest one. It's oh, the most God. common and it's the hardest. <laughs> Craig, mate. Sid's course, this is what I'm trying to say on the Haas beer fridge filler. You know what? Hey, listen, Tim, if that's you that's uh, typing that in there, yes, I, don't even know where the beer, I don't even know where the beer fridge is. Oh, well, that's one thing we need to sort out <laughs> straight away. I, I, I haven't been there long enough to find out where that one is. There's still plenty of cupboards to open. <laughs> Here we go. Our code DA, uh, DL531 up there in the Bondi Beach. Cabana celebrating one month. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that support. And uh, looks like, uh, what is it? Velocity 15. Uh, no, what are we saying? Qantas uh, 927. Uh, sounds like it might be the last service coming in on runway 07. Is that correct? So we just had Qantas 559. Where is 927? Now, did we have somebody on that? Yeah, we did. Cairns. Yeah, so that's second last in. Second last in at the moment. Yeah, 927. He's just out near Voyager Point. Yeah. Uh, just at the Moor Bank. Yeah. It's not too far away. You got Velocity just uh, crossing past Hurstville now. Oh, Alco DL five three one. Um, Dave says that Connie may have an engine run tomorrow. Well, there you go. Thanks very much, Dave. Appreciate that little uh, sneaky bit of intel there from you. Thank you very much. And I hope you will. The 439, wind 110 degrees, 129, sunrise 07, clear to land. 110 degrees, clear to land, velocity 439. Terminal spanner, medium Phillips head, yes, they are always hard to find. i got to say, Kurt, it's nice and clear up in Old Sydney Town tonight. Sorry, nice back with you, buddy. No, you're right, mate. I was just, uh, I was just saying it's uh, very clear up in Old Sydney Town tonight. It is at the moment. We had a bit of rain earlier, actually, sweep through, but now it's actually... Uh, now I can see the stars, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome. Hopefully that continues on uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, I was actually going to ask you what the weather is uh, for tomorrow down there, at, uh, down there at Haas, what you're expecting. So uh, hopefully, um, hopefully uh, good weather. Yeah, look, I think it's meant to be partly cloudy, but um, 
only a chance of showers in the afternoon. Evening, All right, so, okay. Um, oh, good, good. Well, good luck with that. Whoa, bit thanks, of wind, bit of wind ripping through now. That's that's not me. That is absolute wind. <laughs> <right there. laughs> hey, Aiden Campbell, Emirates four one four, Emirates A three eighty, due in twenty minutes. Oh, good on you, Aiden. Thanks for the intel. And we've also got an Emirates push back on the other side of the apron, and. Um, <laughs> And uh, we'll see that one coming. Oh, Hawaiian's just popped up as well. So we're going to see Hawaiian Control depart uh, pretty, pretty soon. So that's cool bananas. Good on you, Aiden. There's a flashing light in front of us. Where's that coming from? Is that, is that from like an exit sign or something here? Trying to work out what that is. Uh, yeah. Screw around with my eyes. Kevin is Anderson, eh? Hey? Is someone Don't. taking photos upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> they got the flash on? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we've got Kevin Anderson here. G'day, Kevin. Hopefully you're doing well, mate. Welcome to the Bondi Beach Cabana. Lovely to have your company here as the, uh, the Jetstar 321 Neo's going out the door. Service uh, 141 to Rarotonga tonight. Victor Hotel, Oscar, Foxtrot, Sierra. Alright, so the uh, the last service to come in, 07 now, uh, cleared to land. Just a 141, going fast, Hey, message from Bondi Steve, g'day. Get on you, Bondi Steve, thanks for the fiver, buddy. Hopefully you're doing well, thank you so much, mate. Lovely to have your company out there in Para. As PRT boy, welcome to the Bondi Beach Cabana. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate that. City looks beautiful tonight. Thank you, Paul. How are you, buddy? Hopefully you're doing well. Lovely to have your company. Hornsby 16 rides here. Craig Jordan's there in the chat, dropping dad jokes. Kieran Wells, my mate's here. G'day, buddy. Need to have a sneaky burger next time down that way visiting the in-laws. Yes. Uh, Nigel, not a bad idea, Kieran. Nigel and I and uh, Shrubsy and uh, Tim, we can all recommend. We can all recommend. Yeah, get involved. Get get involved. I, I might be popping in there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna look. I'll, I'm just putting it out there now. I might be popping in there tomorrow. We'll just uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And uh, that uh, that last service is just rolling through, and I've missed it. Where is it? There it is. And I'll just do that and uh, give you a view. <laughs> So um, we might be able to do a uh, might be able to do a cheeky on the old um, on the old Atus and see where that's left us. Eh? How about that? One zero two three. On first contact with Sydney, round or approach. Notify receipt of Delta. Time check one one zero zero. Sydney terminal information Delta. Expect instrument approach, then independent visual approach when visual. Do not pass through sign runway center line. Runway one six left and right for arrivals and departures. Independent parallel departures in progress. When ready for pushback or taxi contact coordinator one two seven decimal six. Known ELT in the vicinity of six nautical miles southwest of Sydney. Increase that hazard. Wind one three zero degrees one five knots. Yeah, right. One Visibility five knots. Right. Okay, cool. Back up the one five knots. She's pretty consistent tonight. Got to say, and uh, lovely sight there. Seeing the uh, Hawaiian Airlines now coming out. We're we'll going close for that one. So as you heard there, uh, a runway one six right, runway one six left and right. Parallel runway operations now in progress. Let's get a, let's get rid of that runway zero seven. Chuck it in the bin for the night, <laughs> and uh, let's get back on. Let's get back to business on the uh, the main north south runway. Look, and uh, we, well, we did call it. Tim said that was going to uh, flip over at ten o'clock, and it's now ten o one thirty six. So pretty good timing there, if I don't say so myself. And uh, that just gives us uh, the uh, the final hour of power here at Sid Squad. The um, all the coverage up here at the northern end of the field. Uh, Hawaiian Airlines is the aircraft you're looking at on screen. It's the 3.30 going home to Honolulu. And uh, we've also got uh, the Emirates 413, which is in, uh, a super A380 service. 
Uh, that's around the back. It has pushed back, waiting for that to taxi around the corner. China Southern looks like it's just popped up. Sydney to Guangzhou going home. The Boeing 7879er, which we saw in the blue livery, come in earlier. So we're going to have uh, a couple of heavies for, uh, coming out to play in just a moment. The first, uh, the first of those being the Hawaiian. What a beautiful looking livery at night time. Got to say, got to say, I love it. I'm a big fan. Hopefully those uh, those vibrant colours are coming through nicely for everybody there on the on the on the show tonight. And uh, a special shout out to everybody for joining us here today. 1,400 of you there in the chat at the moment. And um, wow, that is that is beautiful. Thanks for spending your Friday night or your Friday morning with us here at Sid Squad. It really is a pleasure to have so many of you and, and, and lots of familiar faces there in the chat uh, joining us here at, at the uh, at the Sid Squad show indeed. Got a message coming in from my good mate Fluky. He's upgraded his membership to the uh, to the penthouse. Good on you, Fluky. Out there in uh, southwestern Sydney, tuning into the Sid Squad live show. You! <laughs> and uh, hopefully you're doing well, mate. Hopefully you're doing well. And yeah, Fluky. Love the profile picture too there. I'm 452, no delay. Thanks from my 16 right clip takeoff. Johnny Logan, best uh, engine sound is Korean. The 330 Pratt and Whitney's, but can't beat a 727 uh, before the hush kits were uh, a thing. Oh, yes, indeed. I tell you what, and they left their mark on the sky too, those 727s when they departed, didn't they, Nigel? You'd remember a few. Nigel's MIA. No, I'm here, mate. Sorry. I was just saying the 727s leaving their mark on the skies. When they used to take off, the, oh, dust, the dusty old 7.2s. They used to crackle the air as well. They were awesome. Okay. They were fantastic. Hawaiian's pulling up now, runway 16 right. Let's enjoy this one together. She's going to be a beauty. that Yannick. Oh, <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, I'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what's going on here. All right, there goes Hawaiian. Now just keeping an eye on our inbounds as well. Oh, where we got our uh, I did see it, I did see it, I did see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the big whale coming out to play the Emirates A380. Look out. And uh, Johnny Logan, special shout out there. 39 months in the Sydney Harbour Suite. Far out, mate. There from the very beginning, I tell you. You legend. Oh, shut up and take my money. That reminds me of uh, that reminds me of an advert for a fast food store here. <laughs> <laughs> One that can take orders tonight, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Hello from Townsville. Uh, we've got uh, we got planes uh, land every two hours and police helicopters flying every 15 minutes chasing stolen cars. We love your channel. Oh wow! Oh dear. <laughs> Sounds like you're living an exciting life out there. Oh wow, Townsville and the uh, police helicopters. Eh? How many you got? How many you got? Probably Jeez, not enough. That'd be, yeah, well, it sounds like that, that sounds quite funny, actually, if I do say so myself. Yeah, velocity 898, ready. Oh, jeez. Okay, we've got a, uh, a Boeing 787 uh, pushing back here. This is Qantas 25. This is a service to... Um, wow, wait, what is that? Is that... It's got, oh, that must have been from the engine uh, startup. That dust there in the, uh, in the sky there. Yeah, right. Okay, this is a service going to uh, Haneda, service to Japan tonight. So uh, they're pushing back there from uh, Bay 24 as the, uh... oh, you know what? It was? Oh, well, yeah, right. Oh, oh, okay. So it's every time the tug puts his foot down on the on the pedal, <laughs> all the all the exhaust is coming out. I wonder if we'll get it again when he uh, when he takes off here. Yeah, that was quite the. Uh... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, all that brown <laughs> all that brown dust coming out the back there. All right, that tug needs to go to the doctor. <laughs> 
My 748's in each other. Oh, I was like, what is all that dust spooling out, man? I was like, maybe, maybe it was like from the engine start, but a good pick up there, Yay. Oh, she looks good, doesn't she? Oh, she looks good. Looks real good. This is the old livery, isn't it? It is the it old is. livery. Yeah, currently we, we've I've only seen the new livery once on on the I saw it the, uh, the on the live show the other day. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this guy coming in from Brendan Stockton. Ring a ding ding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello there, sir. How are you? Shout out to Dave Townsend. He's just dropped in to say big hello to the uh, Sid's got fan band up here at the uh, car park tonight. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, get on you, Brendan Stocko, mate, you champion. And, uh, oh, we had a message just pop up there, and it was uh, from Graham. Graham sitting with my 12-month-old uh, Border Collie, Zimbi, next to me. And uh, watching the uh, the great stream, never owned a dog before. No one ever wore me <laughs> their farts are this bad. Give me a one any time. Please help. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh geez, just, Graham. Well, there you go. Just, just, just whatever you do, just a bit of advice. We had a Malamute years ago, probably more than ten years ago. <laughs> Big Alaska Malamute, and one day she found a cabbage, and she hooked it into the cabbage, and yeah. <laughs> the after the after effects quite, were uh, yeah. <laughs> let's just let's just say she spent some quality time outside alone with herself. <laughs> my word, my word. Hey, Graham, thanks for the generous contribution to the show tonight, my friend. I'm sorry to hear about your dog and, and its and its farting activities, but um, you know they all do them. They all do them. Hey, they're not the only ones that uh, leave a stench. Let me tell you. <laughs> I got a cavoodle, and I tell you what, he's uh, he punches a pack. <laughs> all right, here we go. The Emirates has just been cleared for takeoff runway one six right. She's going to be a pearler, so let's enjoy this one together now. Dubai, fully laden. You beautiful. 
We can see the um, the uh, the Qantas 787, just uh, which is the Qantas 25 to Haneda 789 now, just coming out of the international apron, and uh, they'll be making a left turn here on uh, Taxiway Alpha, and uh, they're joining us at the northern end for a full full length departure here at Runway 16. Right, let's get in a little bit closer there and enjoy that. Look at those angles! Wow, love me a 787. And they're just coming in over the keys. Jetstar 536, the service in from Melbourne tonight. 321. And uh, just up the far, the far end, we've also got uh, China Southern uh, getting ready for a departure there as well. John Molino is still there in the chat. G'day, Johnny. Hopefully you're doing well. Lovely to have your company on the show. Yeah, we did miss your message earlier there. Uh, uh, Josh actually put a message in the chat, which uh, didn't work out. But uh, uh, Daniel's back saying, happy birthday, Nige, a fellow gong bloke. There you go, Daniel Hick from the gong. There you go, Nige. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. All right, 787 time now. Oh, it's the Tufa. Look at that. Right, red land. Yeah, nice. Ah, China Airlines now pushing back here on the uh, the northern apron. Our dynasty friends going home to That's Taipei. Wow, oh, what a beautiful sight. Oh, I love me a 359. Just that, that, just that profile there just looks just spectacular, doesn't it? Stunning aircraft. Stunning. I think. I think they they designed it aesthetically first before they thought about the engineering <laughs> of the actual aircraft. <laughs> yeah. Aiden Campbell's back again. Airliners fly over Campbelltown in Sydney. So cool. They do. They do indeed, and if uh, you get a lot of flyovers to uh, New Zealand as well, which is a, um, a great idea to, uh, to tune in and check out those. Good on you, Aiden. Thanks for that wonderful support. You're back again. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, message coming in from Hayden, the first of his kind for tonight. A hike, uh, cheeky curtain, Sir Nigel. Happy birthday, Nigel. Uh, that's coming in from uh, Hayden uh, in uh, Victoria there, Nigel, for you. Thanks. Thanks, Hayden. Much appreciated, mate. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well well done, Hayden. You're a legend, mate. Uh, part of the furniture here on the channel, the uh, unofficial movements coordinator here at Sid's <laughs> One. <laughs> it's Jetstar 534 from Melbourne on the Milk Run. Uh, he's about to uh, come in front of the city and land here on runway 16 right. We've got Malaysian Airlines now, the 330 taxiing on Alpha, going home to Kuala Lumpur there, uh, to Malaysia. And uh, we'll see them departing full length uh, runway 16 right in just a moment. Oh, beautiful jet star. Magic, magic, magic. Yeah, the uh, beautiful dynasty there. Lovely to see it. Qantas 25 is uh, is cleared to line up now. Runway uh, 16 right. So they're at the uh, the northern end of the field, and uh, we'll be getting sporty in just a moment's time. Landing lights are on. And we've got a message coming back in from Stocko. This is like me taking the 737 for a walk. <laughs> Keep 
<laughs> oh dear, Brendan. Oh dear, Brendan. I miss you tonight, mate. Where are you, my friend? I thought you were coming out for. I thought you were coming out for a hello, but um, uh, I missed you. I miss you. I miss you, my friend. Oh, Stocker, you champion. Here we go. Seven eight seven time now. Rolling runway one six right. This service off to uh, Hanina. Qantas. Uh, uh, Qantas okay, so 25. Oh, is that All Blacks out the back there? Is that our Kiwi friends landing? No, just uh, just a uh, a regular. I need to have a look down there. What what, what, what did I what did I miss? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So that well, geez, that's quite that's quite a ways ways away, but just a uh, a regular a New Zealand A320 coming through. Nicely done, nicely done. There goes our dynasty friends now uh, taxiing out of the international apron. Are they going intersection or are they going full length? Let's have a look now. Well, they're uh, turning around all the way down Alpha. Next to uh, drop it in here is uh, Qantas 496. Just coming in over the keys now. Mandawulji livery. This service in from Melbourne. Beautiful uh, look and livery and great interior to match as well. Great to see on the night stream. 738. Love it. Uh, Qantas 3, 3300 there under tow going back to the jet base. Or it might even be coming onto the international apron. We'll have to, we'll have to keep our eyes out for that. China Airlines Dynasty taxing down Alpha now. Great to see it. Uh, there we go. Josh is back. Uh, Josh Aldridge, happy birthday, Nigel. My birthday is next Friday. Another March, baby. What a legend. Thanks, Josh. And you, Josh. Thank you, mate. Oh, well, here we go. Steve one, Murray, evening, one, Curtin, one, Nigel, Donuts for one, all. One, Love one, catering. One, <laughs> bit of Krispy Kreme. Yeah, well, uh, we had a little bit of Krispy Kreme the other day, didn't we? He dropped us some. What a legend. Good on you, Steve. to see from this angle because oh, you can see the left one more than the it's just because it's so far away by the time we actually get a really good like fix on it but yeah. never mind yeah you can see left one look at the left yeah, one more than the right yeah. one interestingly yeah that, that's really interesting yeah uh, that uh, 3.30 is going across to the jet base. We'll make a crossing here at uh, Fox Trots and uh, cross the uh, the main north-south runway. And uh, he's going to get out the door. And uh, we head back down to the northern end of the apron. Uh, China Airlines is uh, about ready to go. They're holding short for a Qantas 498 in from Melbourne. The, uh, the 737-800. Nicely done. Tony Bovard uh, dropping in a membership here. Evening curtain, Nigel. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, we did have that. Uh, hang on, there we go. Oh, Tony Bovard. Hello, Kurt, and all at uh, at uh, at Seed Squad. Uh, sad to say, I've been AWOL for some time. Uh, good to see y'all again. Uh, one day I must uh, try to get out and join you guys in person. Uh, get on you, Tony. Welcome back to the Seed Squad fam. Lovely to have your company, mate. Hopefully you're doing well. There's that Amanda Wood delivery again, which is just spectacular at night time, isn't it? Jeez, this wind is she's picking up again. 
She's keeping us busy. Good on you, Tony. Uh, thank you for celebrating 14 months with us up there uh, in the uh, the lodge, mate. Always lovely to have your company. Stocko's here, <laughs> and uh, happy birthday, Nigel. Have an amazing day, legend. Thanks so much. Get on you, Brendan. <laughs> He's a he's a he's a lovely fella. I appreciate that, Brendan. Thank you so much. And uh, Daniel Hick is uh, back again. Uh, any four burners tonight? Any BAE one four sixes? No. Um, we're not. Uh, well, we might see. Hang on one second. We might see uh, a one four six or two come in. Uh, however, that uh, we're not going to we're not going to be able to enjoy uh, any of those movements out tonight because it's only RPT services tonight, and. Um, that's a regular there. Um, it's only RPT services tonight, so once they, um, once all those are uh, are out the door, we'll pretty much be out the door. So I, I'm pretty pretty sure it's going to be close to uh, 11 p.m. Yeah, the 146s typically fly, fly from Monday to Thursday nights. They don't fly on Friday nights. Uh, Tim or Nige, do we have any intel on the Atlas on Bay 2? Is that going out tonight or Bay, thr bay 3? Wouldn't have a clue about Atlas, but I do know that I'm about to go out, Kurt. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> Get on you, Nige. <laughs> in a big day. Just thought I'd pop in to say hello to everyone. No, everybody. that's uh, very kind, mate. Lovely to go. We've got Emirates coming in over the keys now. What a sight. I'll wait for that one first. That's your 052, Lana from Way 16, right? Oh, beautiful. Uh, there we go. We got our Kiwi friends now rolling up Alpha as well, so we get to see them come through uh, slightly as the Emirates rolls quite long, far out. There we go. So, Nigel, you, uh, you, you're going to depart us there, are you? I am, mate. Yeah, I'm going to call departures and uh, call the, yeah. Call, call, call I'll, departures. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll contact the page. It's, it, it's time for a, uh, for oh, an an order tonight, and uh, yeah. yeah, I'll be calling. Mate, I'll you, be calling you, up you, our first thing in the morning to go to cricket. So yeah, you got a big day tomorrow with the little boys' cricket, and then uh, heading on down to Haas. So, um, mate, uh, all the best. Have a lovely day. Thanks so much mate. for being here. Appreciate your company as always. Mate, little and, boy, um, he's, nearly, he's nearly as tall as me. I know, I know, but he's still your little. <laughs> Boy, so little anymore. He's still your little yep. boy. He is. Always buddy. will be. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Always uh, will be. Yeah. See you All right, guys. Oh, oh. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, look, I know it's I know it's coming out of the weekend, but it's late for the work experience, kid, isn't it? Jeez. Oh, jeez. Too funny. <laughs> oh, nice one, Kurt. All right, mate. Well, look, uh, yourself and Craig, have yourselves a good night, gentlemen. And um, to everyone out there who's uh, wished me a happy birthday in the chat, many thanks for that, guys. Really do appreciate it. And, um, Oh, look, you know what? We'll do it all again in 365 days, eh? <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll be catching up before then, mate. Have a good one, and we'll awesome. see you later. Thanks, mate. You take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye, Bye for now.
out the door and uh, not much else to see up on the northern apron. We've just got our Cathay Pacific out here to go. Now, um, I did just want to say uh, regarding the Atlas, the Atlas is delayed out. It is not departing on tonight's show, the 747 Atlas. Uh, it will be departing tomorrow at 1.20 p.m. is the uh, the latest intel there. So, um, yeah, there you go. If you wanted to know about that 747, now you got the now you got the intel. Dave, you, you heard that? Yep, tomorrow at uh, 1.20 p.m. So we're going to have to take a quick look around the ground soon and have a look to see what our last RPT movements for the uh, for the night are going to be. And then, um, well, here we've got a nice velocity coming in uh, in front of the city. Beautiful sights here, the 738. Uh, this service coming in from uh, Melbourne tonight. Lots of Melbourne flights coming in. Beautifully done. And uh, back again has the chipmunk said happy birthday to Nigel. Come on, chipmunk, say happy birthday. Oh, hey, all the best. Take care. And uh, have a great day tomorrow. Because... Oh, thank you, man. Oh, that's all right. You... Mate, you're coming at a good time. You're coming at a good time. Mate, lovely to meet you. All the best. Have a great day tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs> That's cool. Hayden. No, mate, you just heard the chipmunks, mate. You just heard them, champ. <laughs> Nigel's out the door. Ah, oh, we love it. We love it. Love Nigel. He's going to have a great day tomorrow, which is fantastic. Got to catch up on a couple of things there in the chat. So let me uh, let me just get back down there and uh, and have a geezer, shall we? Nyko Star is here up there in the Bondi Beach Cabana for three months. G'day, Nyko Star. Welcome back to the show. Brendan Martin is here. Can I wish my wife, Beck, a happy 40th for tomorrow? Well, Brendan, I think you just did, mate. I think you just did. Happy birthday to Beck, to Beck Martin, I'll assume. But good on you, Brendan. What a nice little cute shout out. <laughs> I love that. And uh, Brendan's been a supporter with us for 16 no, months in the penthouse. Cool. What a legend. Shout out now coming in from Shut Up and Take My Money. Uh, just the one helicopter. Okay, one helicopter in townie. Uh, we love your laugh. Reminds us of Jonathan Thurston's <laughs> laugh. Oh, the, home, the homegrown Johnny T. A big Johnny T. Um, well, that's fantastic as we watch the A330 get in uh, under the hangar there, the half hangar, the uh, the rooftop. Oh, that's brilliant. I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, we love the JT, mate. What a legend, isn't he? Just so he's a big legend up there, legend of the region. Message now coming in from uh, Jet Junkie Spotter. Wow, Jet Junkie Spotter. That's a fancy name. <laughs> Good morning from the UK, uh, Great Britain. Great stream as always, guys. I've got on your Jet Junkie Spotter. I appreciate your support. Celebrating three months with us up there in the Uluru Lodge. There you go. Uh, Dean Mellor is here. G'day, Dean. Lovely to have your company on the show tonight. Ulysses Lee is here. Hello, mate. Welcome, welcome. And uh, Alan Lobby's here. G'day, Alan. Hi, Kurt and all. Been AWOL. Glad to be here tonight. Alan, welcome back to the show, mate. You know, we're not, we're not going anywhere. Oh, look at this, the cheeky 700 VBY. The pocket rocket, just dropping it in there nicely on runway 16 right. Oh yeah, the 737-700s, eh? Oh, I gotta love them. I was gonna say, what's your comment about that, Yannick? You love the 737s? Yeah, I'm a fan, I'll say I'm yeah. a big fan uh, of the brilliant. 73s. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, welcome back, Alan. Welcome back to the live show. Elaine is here. Hello, Elaine. Richard Venema is here. Hello, Russell Sprout is here. Big shout out to B Rad there in the chat as well, and uh, all of the moderators here. The Peacock A380 doing the biz. Lovely to have all of your company here on the show tonight. Johnny Neal's here. What a great week for live streams. Big Jack TV now a curt view. Uh, cannot get any better. What an awesome 26 months with this awesome channel. Good on you, Johnny. Yes, 26 months supporting Sid Squad at the pointy end, right up the right up the top, the Sydney Harbour Suite, and um, oh, that was Addison's dad on Velocity 562 coming through. So I'm glad I picked that up. Or is that or is that almost about to land? No, hang on. Oh, Velocity 562 coming in from Perth, uh, just coming in over the Parramatta River. Got that, Tim. Thank you, mate. Well, we'll see that in two flights time. So um, Addison, mate, standing by, standing by. Got on you, Johnny Neal. 
And um, wonderful to have your company there supporting us at the pointy end. Um, yeah, it's just fantastic, mate. And uh, we've got a message now coming in from Richard Bauer. He's gone ahead and gifted one Sid's got membership this time to Donny Vogt. Or Vogt. Good on you, Richard. Uh, wonderful support there. Thank you so much for that. And uh, Jack Ray is here up there in the in the uh, the Gold Coast penthouse for 19 months. Well done, Jack. Thank you for your support tonight on the show. Brenton Watkins, adults enjoying the stream, but Zara, it's bedtime. That's <laughs> put the young ones to bed and uh, the adults can kick back and continue watching the show, eh? <laughs> oh, good on you, Brenton. Lovely to have your company here on the show tonight. Thank you so much for the three, buddy. Well done. Service coming in now is Jetstar 612. Uh, this flight coming in from Avalon tonight down there in Victoria. Lovely to see the, uh, the 320 now. Local time, 10.32, 27 minutes until curfew. So uh, you can uh, plan your night or the rest of your night, 27 minutes left on the live show, basically, is how, is how I see that. Ah, Cathay now pushing back. Good on you. Thank you, David. Giving us the intel here right on the front front end of... Uh, oh, beautiful. Look at that, 359er. Let's get in close and have a geezer, shall we, and see what we can see. And uh, I've got to get a, I've got to get a, I've got to get a focus lock. We've got a uh, fresh crew in there. A fresh crew. Or is it the same crew? Oh no, a fresh crew. Now I've got to keep my eye on velocity. Five sixty-two is the uh, the service coming in to land. It's got uh, Addison's dad on board. But look at these beautiful scenes here. These pilots, man, that's that's some close-up uh, action right there. There we go. The second officer is eating something. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's having, having some, some dinner. I know. Yeah. He's got to be eating something different to the other lads, though. So they they don't. Uh... Is that a kebab? <laughs> is it a kebab? Is that a kebab? Is he having a kebab? It's, it's some sort of wrap. That is legend. That is absolute <laughs> scenes on Sid's Cot tonight. Second officer is absolutely howling, howling down a kebab in the back seat. That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> scenes here. Far out, my word. That's brilliant. <laughs> well done. Oh, geez, Cathay Pacific, love that. That is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, far out. Wow, get into it. Get into it, I say. Get into it, because I tell you what, it's making me hungry, Yannick. It's yeah. making me hungry. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to spin it around now. Addison, uh, this is your dad coming in from Perth on the Velocity Service now. Let's capture this one. Oh, good on you. Good on you, Addy King, mate. Love it. Lovely to have your company. Here we go now. Yeah, just about 539 ready. Just about 539, yeah, good day. Oh. How about it? Just about 539. Not bad, Ionic. Yeah, that was nice. That was quite nice if I do say so myself. Yeah, far out. The landing so far have been, uh, they've been on they've point. Been spot on, yeah. Haven't they? Yeah. We've had some good landings here tonight. Yeah. There we go, Cathay Pacific. Coming out to play here on the uh, on the northern apron now, just pushed back. Oh, here's me good mate. <laughs> hey, Matty Crayon, educational videos for kids. Uh, welcome back to the Sid Squad live show, mate. Hopefully you're doing well. And uh, here we go. He said he worked in Sydney early 2000s, went to Sydney to see Johnny Travolta's 707, uh, and on a different day, an Air France Concorde taking off runway 16 right. Are you giving your age away, Matty? Uh, with, a, with a tailwind. Anyone remember? Thanks for the shout-out last time. No obligation. No, you're right. There is no obligation, but... Um, I um, I know a good channel when I see one, Maddie. So um, you know I, I I have no problems in in, uh, in giving you a shout out, mate. Because um, got a you know if you if you got a young kid and you're into um, 
and you're into uh, the old uh, YouTube, which I'm sure you all are because that's how you're watching the show tonight. Uh, head on over to Matty Crayon, educational videos for kids. He's got you covered there with uh, some brilliant, brilliant uh, child uh, content. And the other reason why I shouted you out, Matty, is because you did a video from Little Wings, and Little Wings are just our absolute fabulous partner, charity of choice out there at Bankstown. And uh, so, mate, special sh a special shout out to you, and thanks uh, again for dropping in the uh, the tent tonight. It's a very generous contribution to the channel and the show tonight, and uh, really do appreciate that, mate. Well done. Thank you. Thank you again. All right, engineer, happy there. Coming away from the aircraft. Pin removed, waving it up, and then uh, the wave from the cockpit there. Love it. Engineer's happy. Back turned already. Going back to the car. Out the door. Happy days. Headset off. Job done. Time for Cathay to start taxiing, hey? Big shout out to the Sid Squad YouTube channel as well. Cracking on with 101,000 subscribers. Congratulations, team. Well done. Well done. Hey, Georgie at Saves is here. G'day, Georgie. Welcome to the Bondi Beach Cabana. Thank you so much for your support, George. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, message coming in from uh, Chris Davies. G'day, Chris. Loving every second. Thank you, Chris. 13 months with us in the penthouse. <laughs> Yeah, I like some of these. I like some of these messages. It looked like a kebab. The kebab eating food. <laughs> How funny is that? Uh, that? Yeah, hopefully not. Looks like a cheeseburger. Brad was saying, "Man's got to eat." Michael Singh. Uh, yes. It's got, can you boys smell the garlic sauce? <laughs> we can smell it. <laughs> we can smell it, mate. I tell you what, we're going to be smelling it a bit later too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Oh, thumbnail material, Brownie wants to see if thumbnail material. That's gold. Karen <laughs> D. Oh, fantastic. And Dean Mellor reckons it looked like a quarter pounder. <laughs> that's, that's quite the detail there. Fantastic, fantastic. I thought it might have been like chips at the start. It, I, I didn't, yeah, it was hard to tell, right? It was, it was, we'll just say he yeah. was hurling down HSP, mate. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, 100, yeah. 100. Yeah. 100, man. Yeah, too funny. Too funny. Man, it's, I tell you what, it's getting me hungry, man. It's getting me hungry. Yep. And the smell of the uh, burning rubber. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't actually smelled any because yeah, we're not, no, 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 no east-west runway uh, landings. That's right. Uh, that's fantastic. Le Lego Flights is hanging out until Kurt View is over indeed. Not long to go, mate. Not long to go, but plenty more action to come. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Henry saying the, the last RPT service is going to be uh, Qantas 148 on uh, 16 left. Is that right? Uh, if Tim, are you, are you staying the course, Tim? Are you hanging out the whole length? Uh, we'll get the updates there from Tim. Jimmy Sinawan's here. Welcome to the Gold Coast penthouse. Good on you, Jimmy. Welcome to the club, my friend. Thank you for your support. Whoa, what have we got going in here? 3.30. Ah, 3.30 coming in over the keys. Almost missed this, uh, this service. Coming in from uh, Auckland, 3.33. Yeah. Nice. Nicely done. Another yeah. another smooth landing, huh? Yeah, it looked like it was right on the piano keys as well. Not the piano keys, the touchdown zone. No, if he's on the piano, piano keys, we've got a problem. Uh, it's still on the runway, isn't it? Oh, uh, you cheeky devil. Landing lights on now, Cathay. What's the deal here? What's the deal here? Are we doing intersection departure, Cathay? Or are you turning left going down to Alpha 1? Let me know. Let me know by a show of left turn. Look at the angles on this. This is just magic. How good? How good, eh? How good? Oh, left turn Alpha, and he's going... Yeah, he's going all the way. He's going all the way. Full length through to departure tonight. He's, you know why? He needs a couple. He needs a little bit more minutes taxiing so second officer can just digest his food before before <laughs> before a rip snort of takeoff there on <laughs> runway one six right. Hey, how about it? That's what's going on there. I, I know, I, I've worked it out, mate. I've worked it out. <laughs> well, if he's having a kebab, I wouldn't want to be sitting in the front there. <laughs> oh jeez, oh jeez, gosh, lads, gosh, lads, far out. Oh, Dino. Dino's done a number. He's gone ahead and gifted 10 Sid Squad memberships. Look out, Dino. 
Uh, who we got? Who we got there? Peter Miller. We got Sweetie Dog. Car uh, Karen D. Bacon Plays. Emma Wright. Anthony Lawrence. Addison King. There you go, Addison. What a day to get a membership, mate. Uh, Michelle, Julie Stevens, and Aerocentric. Wow, congratulations, uh, everybody. Welcome to the Sid Squad family. And, uh, well, you got to say a big thanks there to Dean Stalker up there on the Gold Coast. He's gifted uh, those 10 new memberships. You'll pick up a uh, membership there in the, uh, the Uluru Lodge for one month, give you access to all the emojis and the members-only content from time to time, which is fantastic. Uh, good on you, Dean, mate. Thank you so much. Hey, Skittles, he's back in town. Uh, Sid Squad, I'm grateful to be able to wake up at 4.30 a.m. on uh, 15th of March and see you showcasing off your amazing airport to the world. Just brilliant, brilliant, just brilliant. Well, uh, Skittles, I tell you what, I don't know about you, but waking up at 4:30 a.m. just does not uh, make sense to me. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad that you're, uh, I'm glad that you're able to enjoy a 4:30 wake-up call and uh, chuck on the TV or the YouTube, and uh, the old Sit Squad is pumping away at our local airport. A couple of blokes down under just uh, putting the uh, camera on the sticks and uh, bringing it to the world. We love it. Good on you, Skittles. Thank you so much for your support and for being here on the live show again tonight. Lovely to have your company, as always. Pretty much part of the furniture. You've been here so long, Skittles, I've got to say. I've got to say, Matty, Matty's here and he's dropping in 10 gifted as well. Wow, now the memberships are coming out hard. Hey, David, you can't you can't be uh, hiding in the background there, Mr. Rolling Ball Sculptures. There you are, my good mate David Morell from Radelaide. He's here. Chad Hart, K. Shaw, Rachel. Oh, Mandaloo, who else we got? Ethan De Weaver. Wow, ex guard Tim Forrest A. Henry Williams and Shane Davis. Well, congratulations to our, our our newest ten members. Thank you so much, there, Matt. Go on ahead and gift a ten. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful support. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Here we go and uh, HD Perth Aviation, giving back to your tremendous effort to giving an, an entertaining, fantastic stream to kick back and relax to. Dropping a fiver. HD Perth Aviation, very kind, generous. Cafe 138, runway 135, cleared for takeoff. Cafe 138, now cleared for takeoff as we see Tom Brown there. Loving the stream. What path would you tell someone to take if they wanted to work in airside ops? WSO, RO, course, etc. Yeah, um, well, Tim's listening. Uh, he might even reply to you on, uh, on chat. Um, yeah, uh, look, get yourself in the industry first of all. See if you can get to the airport, perhaps working with one of the airlines on the ground. Get your, uh, yeah, get your airside driving. And uh, then I, I would do those, those courses secondary to that because they, they normally want experience on the airfield is what I'll say. But here we go, Cathay 359er, ripping it out, 1-6 right. Let's enjoy this one together. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> Big fan of the uh, XWBs. Yeah, well, you got you got you got the full the full gamut there. Yeah. My word. That was tasty. <laughs> tasty. You know what else is going to be tasty? I know what that <laughs> is. It's going to be a kebab. It's going to be a kebab. Look out! Oh, geez, look, really dire sights and scenes here at the moment on the uh, the northern apron here <laughs> as we, uh, we as, as we see not much going on, unfortunately. Uh, wow, do you know what? We'll have a we'll have a quick look over there to our uh, domestic apron. There's a pushback coming out there as well. That's uh, Quanta 652. Uh, coming in there in the darkness, actually, and then you can see there's an aircraft that, that's... Uh, oh, actually, that's interesting. It's been pushed back the wrong way. Maybe they're doing a little bit of shuffling. Maybe they're doing Maybe. a little bit of shuffling over there. Paul Walsh is here. G'day, Paul Walsh. Welcome to the Bondi Beach, Cabana. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate your wonderful support. And, ah, uh, oh, a message coming in from Emma Wright. Hello there, Emma, my dear. Thank you so much for your generous contribution to the show tonight. Thanks very, thanks very much. Oh, good on you, Jacqueline Garrett. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Hey, Karen Wesling is here. Hello, Karen. How are you? Welcome to the show. 
Nice to have your company. Ivan Bowden is here as well. Jack Ray still here. Chad Hart. Peter Gross. Bacon Plays. Love that user. I love that profile, man. That's brilliant. Jenny Sadler, Paul Newman, C Vale, Christy Nielsen, hello all. Pen Jin is here. G'day, Pen Jin. Goat MS is there as well. Hello, guys. Beverly George, welcome to the Good show. Matty Crayon still enjoying the show there. Steve Parker, hello, Steve. Uh, we're actually waiting for 52 companies that uh, might be empty. What do you say? Uh, I'm going to message now. I'm going to message now. Coming in for our wonderful moderators, I've got to say a very special thanks to all of our moderators here on the uh, the Seed Squad live show. Uh, appreciate uh, all of your uh, all of your support. We couldn't do these shows. Um, we couldn't do these shows without you. Um, and uh, yeah, so go and give your love uh, to the uh, moderators there uh, in the chat. But, um, yeah, special shout-out to those of the Aussies tuning in. Mary Ann Bruce, special thanks to Mary Ann Bruce. Mary Ann, we've actually got to update this list and, and uh, put you on our uh, moderators list. So hopefully um, hopefully the viewers have uh, recognised that uh, Mary Ann Bruce is our newest moderator here, um, joining the uh, representing our, our female contingent on the moderator team uh, proudly. So a very special welcome to Mary Ann Bruce in the moderator team. And um, so thank you for joining us. And um, go and give some love there you've got uh the peacock a380 dave there mary and bruce uh, b rad there in the chat lovely to have uh wonderful moderators uh here on australian shores tuning in and supporting us and looking after the chat and tim's there in the chat as as well which is just fantastic and um okay looks like we've got a qjet 6203 um uh ferrying out uh is that so timmy 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 okay might be cancelled. All right. Okay. Is there anything else? Is there anything else after that? Because it doesn't look like there's any any uh, QJet action going. But I tell you what, if we get a QJet going out tonight, that'd be that'd be brilliant. Getting close to the pointy end of the stream. But I always say we can't finish early. It's um it's 10:48 p.m. So we can't go anywhere just yet because that that'd be that'd be like cheating. Yeah, can't yeah. leave, can't no, leave, you can't go, leave. You got, yeah, 11, 11, 11 minutes. I was going to say 11 hours and 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll wait here for 11, 11 hours, hours, yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Can you imagine another 11 hours on the live show tonight? <laughs> Come on, guys. What are we smoking? <laughs> <laughs> We were smoking burning rubber. Yeah, we were smoking, smoking burning <laughs> rubber earlier, weren't we? We were indeed. Sharon Casey's here. 13 minutes till lunch. Be rude not to have a kebab, eh? Well, Sharon, if you have one, we'll have one. Oh! <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Sharon, you can certainly bet your bottom dollar that uh, Yannick and Kurt uh, will be uh, sorting themselves out with a... Uh, with a, with, a, with a bit of a kebab after the show tonight. And uh, I tell you what, it's been a while since I've had one, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and uh, I've got to say, Sharon, thanks for your support. Ten months up there in the, uh, in the Gold Coast penthouse. And uh, so lovely to have your company uh, back on the, uh, on the Seed Squad show. Well, enjoy your lunch in uh, 10 minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Who else we got there in the uh, in the chat? Oh uh, yes, Mars five thousand and four is here. Loving the program, y'all. Thank you, y'all. Mars, lovely to have your company. Welcome back to the show. Oh uh, yeah, message now coming in from Dean Stalker. Currently an, Ip an Ipswich fellow, but oh, but moving back to Brizzy in a few weeks. Oh, gotcha. Maybe I just thought you were in the Gold Coast because that's where we met you, Dean, uh, at the on the air show. Um, definitely not in Matt Coffrin's neck of the woods. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ipswich, but moving back to. Br I'm just going to say Brizzy, mate, because otherwise I'll, um, uh, otherwise I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just forget altogether. But uh, Dino, mate, are we seeing you on the, the Gold Coast on the air show come August this year? You'll have to let me know. You'll have to let me know. Matt is here. Amazing show, guys. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Yes, indeed. Good on you, Matt. Nice shout out for you. Four months up there supporting us in the uh, Sydney Harbour Suite. Fantastic. Oh, good on you, buddy. Thank you so much for that. And, um, okay, we're just keeping our eye up on uh, flight radar regarding this 717, a possible 717. Um, Yankee Quebec Sierra, Sierra is actually on flight, flight aware rather, has posted a flight 
uh, for departure tonight, a ferry flight. Uh, look, if it goes within the next nine minutes, we'll see it. If it doesn't, then, um, then, then uh, it's crickets and we're wrapping the show. So we'll, we'll, well, that's its grace period, Timmy. Uh, so we, we're going we're gonna to stand by for that. And, um, and if, if it goes, it goes. And if it doesn't, we're out the door. Yeah, we've got serious business to attend to after this. <laughs> some serious business. Addison King, mate, off to bed. Been a long day. Thanks for capturing my dad on final uh, in Sydney. Thanks for the streamer to all the mods. Fantastic. I uh, love it. Yeah, good on you, Dino. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Now everyone's craving a kebab. What have we done? What have we done? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tony Bobard, any idea when the next live stream is? Tony, it's a brilliant question, my friend. Um... Uh, we'll be handing the reins back to uh, to to, um, to Jerry from Big Jet TV uh, tomorrow, and then on uh, on Sunday, uh, Jerry departs Australian shores on Sunday uh, in the afternoon. I'm, I was kind of ho holding out some uh, a thought that um, Matt would be going live with Sid Squad uh, up on the Gold Coast tomorrow morning. He's had some pretty poor weather up on the Gold Coast today. Uh, and I haven't heard back from Matt what the details are. I think it's going to be a TBC and wait and see. However, I would suggest that you subscribe to Sid Squad if you haven't already and make sure you hit that bell notification button because it's it's free to do that. It's absolutely free to do that. And then, look, that way you're, you're across all the details about when we're going live next and, and if it is that we get a, a, a live stream out the door tomorrow morning from the Gold Coast. Um, so not too sure, uh, not too sure on that. Um, but um, yeah, look, let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. So, to, to, <laughs> so tomorrow, got you, mate. Got you, Timmy. Yeah. So tomorrow night is, uh, sorry, tomorrow morning is uh, when we possibly could be going live next. But we've got to wait and hear about what's going on up there on the Gold Coast, and uh, Matt juggling lots of uh, other other details and things like that. However, um, the next Sydney show, uh, Tim's back to work on Sunday day shift, so he'll be out for the first couple of days of next week. So it's back over to me. I've got to check the working calendar, of course, as you know. Uh, uh, sit squad is a hobby for us and uh, we you know we do this part time uh, in our spare time and um, so look I'd love to be able to say that we'll get a show out the door uh, early next week one or two shows um, and then I've got next weekend off I need to talk to uh, I need to talk to sit squad HR about uh, some additional leave that uh, I need to be taking really really soon <laughs> so, uh, not for illness mind you which would be uh, which would be quite quite nice for, for a change indeed indeed and um, Dean Stalker has confirmed that he's spending a couple of nights down the coast. we got four nights too, actually, up there. So we should make sure that we, um, we get together, Dino. And uh, Karen Wesley, replay some of the EK A380 action to kill time. Uh, haven't got any on hand, Karen, but lovely to have your company. Welcome back to the Sid Squad show again. Oh, here's my blind mate, Ian, from Chano. Hello, uh, from Artaman, sorry. Hello, Kurt and team. L uh, loving the stream from Artaman and uh, not too loud as curfew is approaching. Cheers, Ian Cordell. Now, Ian is, uh, if you don't know Ian, he's, he's the only blind viewer of our live show. Wow. So um, I, I've actually yet, I don't know how Ian does it, but um, uh, he, he, he is blind and he's the only blind viewer that I'm aware of on the uh, on the Sid Squad live show. Big shout out to you, uh, Ian, up there in Artarman, always supporting us when you can. And uh, that is very, very kind. Uh, Richard Venema's here, just five and a half hours of work until the weekend, almost lunch now. Go get a kebab. And uh, <laughs> working at home. And, um, <laughs> and Sid Squad makes it very bearable. Greetings from the Netherlands. Oh, Richard, mate. Uh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Lovely to have your company on the show, Richard. And uh, thank you so much for that super chat. You're a champion. You're a champion. Well, there's still some more chats coming through. Got to rip through a few more before we wind down. Five minutes to go. Daniel Hick, how do I get Albion Park, Park burgers to you? Oh, mate, I don't know. <laughs> you might have to put them in a courier. What do you reckon? You're not going to get them up here tonight, I can tell you that much, because uh, in five minutes we're out the door, but um, and somebody else is out the door as well. Far out. <laughs> Jeez, wow. All right. Well, Daniel, I don't know. I've got to leave that one up to you, mate, to work out. That's a that's a really interesting one. That'll be a long Uber Uber Eats trip from uh, Wollongong. Uh, yeah. Wollong, Wollong, that's pretty Sydney. long. <laughs> 
Tell you what, you'd be paying <laughs> quite the delivery fee there. Uh, Kirsty R, loving these streams. Reminds me of watching the planes fly over Macquarie Uni when I was there in 08, 09, now back in the UK, missing Sydney. Hey, it's a good point, Kirsty, because uh, that's actually on the um, that's actually on director frequency as they're coming in for that sort of downwind leg as they turn right and then their base as they turn right before they're on the 1 6 over Glazeville Bridge. So you're not wrong, they actually do fly straight over Macquarie Uni at about 4,000, descending to 3,000 feet. So you'd have seen heaps of aircraft if you were out in the garden and not in the lecture room, I dare say. <laughs> Good on you, Kirsty. Thanks for your support and uh, appreciate that one month up there in the lodge. And uh, lovely to have your company on the show. Ratchet is here. G'day, Ratchet. Elaine is here. Henry's still here. Alice Alice is still here. And, um, oh, look, there you go. Sid Squad. You might see a Sid Squad head on the uh, on the old Big Jet TV. Look, I've got to give a special uh, shout-out to all the uh, the viewers from the UK tuning in. And, look, other international viewers who are also fans of uh, the Big Jet TV. Look, Jerry's uh, Jerry's out here at the moment in Sydney. He's down under. It's, fir it's his first trip down under. And um, he's, uh, he's currently got his head on the pillow, no doubt, in the hotel room, uh, getting prepared for his visit to the to the Haas tomorrow. But um, look, he's um, he's he's actually been doing lots and lots of shows uh, here at Sydney Airport. Now, for those of you who aren't members of Big Jets TV, you probably you wouldn't see them because they're members only shows. I think it's about six dollars become a member, so it's not too much if you actually want to see additional content that Jerry's been uploading to his channel throughout the week. And we've obviously, you know, just been giving Jerry open reign here at Sydney Airport and letting him, you know do his thing and um you know obviously not standing on his toes he's got a lot of respect for him and um you know and he's obviously um you know giving lots of shout outs to sid squad as well so you know and that, and that's um none of that's been pre-planned or anything that even even kurt's head popped up on a big jet live show earlier this week so if you want to go see that you got to become a member and check it out but um i think tomorrow's show for that uh, down there at the Haas is going to be a, a walk around of the uh, the museum i think it's going to be open for all i think it's a, i think it's a free Preview show is what he calls it on, on his channel. So there you go. But um, yeah, he's, he's um, out there shouting Sid Squad out. So uh, don't mind talking about him on the show as well. And uh, he's been very, very kind. So fantastic. Uh, I reckon we are out the door, Yannick. We are two minutes to go. We're counting it down. We can do it. We can do it with a bit of. Uh, we can do it with a bit of music as we uh, as we go as we get out of here. So. Um, yeah, how about that? We could fly a sneaky burger uh, from Albion Park via the Sid Squad corporate jet. However, we'll need to calculate how much fuel the Gulfstream 650 burns on that flight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, Tim. We should uh, we should sort that out, mate. We should sort it out. Got a last message coming in here. Adrian, uh, Adriana Alves. Hey, guys. Thanks for the wonderful show. I was at Shell, Shell Harbour Air Show as a volunteer. I missed the opportunity to say hello in person. Adriana, you did, mate. You missed us. We're going to have to, um, I don't know, uh, you, you live locally down there or up here, mate? Next time we're out and about, you're going to have to come and say hello. If you're down there tomorrow, Timmy's going to be down there. Nigel's going to be down there. So half the Sid Squad crew's going to be down there and uh, go and check them out and say hello uh, one minute and seven seconds until we are out the door here today at Sid Squad for this wonderful Friday night here and uh, gee it's been a lot of fun I don't know about you uh, Yannick but um, we've been uh, we've been enjoying a, a wonderful Friday night show it's a, it's a fantastic time to get out here and do a bit of a live show the Friday night oh, a lot it of is. fun it is uh, Breedley's here g'day from Darwin we don't get too uh, many exciting planes here appreciate all your kindness and positivity you bring to the stream I'll get on you Breedley thank you for dropping in the five mate very very kind lovely to have your company all the way from Darwin a beautiful place been to Darwin love to go back and uh, Leah Fasili's here. Welcome to the Gold Coast Penthouse. Good on you, Leah Fasili. Thank you so much for that support. Right at the uh, the death of the show, we're uh, rounding out. Peter Jones from Brizzy. Thanks, guys, for a great two and a half hours. And that's it. Short and sweet live stream. Two and a half hours as we uh, as we wrap it all up. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Pete. Nice to have your company on the show, buddy. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna wrap things up here. Nice, nice and. Uh, Nice time to go and, and uh, enjoy your weekend. So I did just want to say a, uh, a special shout out to our uh, our Little Wings uh, partner, which is our charity of choice. Uh, you know, for those of you who don't know anything about Seed Squad and uh, Little Wings, oh, what was that? Josh is saying, just want to thank you all for the good times. Uh, sorry, this is the last time I'll here. I'll be flying high in the sky with my own wings over and out. Wow, what's what's that all about? Um, Joshy on the spot. What's going on, Joshy? Um. 
That's a really sad message. It is. That is a sad message I've just oh. read there from Joshy on the spot. Hopefully that's not... Yeah, well, we, I guess, wish you all the, all the best. Yeah, Joshy, Look after mate. yourself. Wishing yeah. you all the best and yeah. uh, clear skies, my friend. Clear skies. Yep. That is, um, wow. Joshy on the spot. Go give Joshy yeah. on the spot some love there in the chat, guys. You can just scroll up a little bit and uh, read his wonderful message there. Wow. Yeah. Off with the angels to you, my friend in heaven, and um, so long, clear skies. Fwa. Never read anything like that before. Uh, I lost my train of thought for a second there. Yeah, no, I just thought I've, I haven't seen that before. So no, yeah, I have not. Uh, I've not seen uh, that before. That's um, yeah, that's quite um, yeah, it's quite solemn. Far out. Yeah, um, well, well, hopefully it doesn't have to come to that. You know. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah. Like, um, I did want to just um, go back to our charity partners of choice, Little Wings. That's what I was saying. If you don't know anything about Little Wings, I would suggest you head on over to sidsquad.com.au and uh, read uh, all about uh, uh, Sid Squad and the relationship that we have there with our Little Wings uh, uh, charity partner of choice. Love it, love it. They do wonderful work flying sick kids in from regional towns into the big cities to get medical treatment. Um, and go and hit them up on, uh, on Instagram as well um, because they're always uploading these amazing amazing stories with you know with sick kids and I tell you what I mean it, it pulls at the heartstrings um, when you see some of their, their stories and once you really get involved but it's so inspiring and um, you know we love to support them so if, if you if you're able to support head on over to our website pick up some merchandise and just know that all the proceeds and the profits are going straight to charity and um, we, we're not taking a cent all, all we're just shifting it straight to them at Little Wings because we, we don't know what else to do but it makes us feel really really good to be able to do that you know we're always supporting them and um please go and head on over to little wings and uh, sidsquad.com.au and um you can also do a tax deductible donation on our website as well we've got the link there um to, that'll that'll pop up there in the chat um yeah good on you tim thanks for um thanks for shouting that out there for joshy on the spot that's that is huge man that is that is very very huge uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, so we're talking about when we're going to do, do our next live show. Should be should be Monday or Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, maybe Tuesday. I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday next week. Also, got to have a look to see what the, uh, the what the weather is actually doing next week because I think there's a chance of. I don't know why my light. My, I'm just flicking my light here behind the seat. I don't know why that's not working, uh, but I'm going to have to get another one because that's just. You try the on button. Yeah, I have tried the on button. It's just unreliable at the moment. I don't know. I'll just smack it a little bit harder. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, next week. I think there's a, a chance of rain or something. Wow, the lad's bringing in the trolleys down there. Very, very loud. <laughs> hey, are you hungry, man? Are you yeah, ready to go? Yeah. Thanks for joining me on tonight's show, mate. Oh, and a big hello me. over there to David to come down and say hello and to yep. everybody else who came down and said hello as well. We really, really do appreciate your company. Anyway, my name is Kurt and this is... Yannick. And uh, we've been Sid Squad here tonight on this uh, wonderful, wonderful Friday night. And uh, we cannot wait to see you on the next live show. So whatever it is that you get up to between now and then, stay safe, stay healthy, look after yourselves. And uh, I'm really excited for the next live show. So we'll see you soon. Uh, and don't forget to tune in to, uh, to Jerry tomorrow at uh, Haas because even I'm going to check that out. I'm really interested to see what uh, what's going on. And hopefully I see Tim's head on the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out the door and uh, we're going to go get ourselves some uh, some grub for, for dinner and uh, get warm because she's quite fresh out here. Um, all right, that's it. Yep, See you later. It. Bye for now. Take yeah. care. Woo! <laughs>
Celebrate. 